We're live. <laughs> live na. Oh, de, balik na dyan sa editor. Okay, tapos switch na yan. Okay. Okay, so, welcome to the powerful Comics Man Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, uh, um, opening the show is, uh, has always been the most awkward part of this, uh, of this <laughs> show for me. Uh, that's uh, where I need training the most. But for now, let me just uh, explain what this uh, show is all about. Uh, this is a podcast because, you know, it's not really common for Filipinos to, to it's not, it's relatively, I don't know if it's relatively new, but it's not the usual type of entertainment that Filipinos uh, consume. And uh, a podcast is basically a radio show on the internet. So that's it. Um, y- ganun lang siya kasimple. Podcast is just a fancy term for it. And uh, uh, our podcast is, uh, it's called a long form conversation. It's in a long form conversation format, which means we're just gonna talk freely, exchange ideas, um, have uh, just casual conversation, nothing formal. So we're gonna we're gonna do boo boos here and there, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. And uh, but but what's good about long form conversations is that it's long form. Uh, you can um, you can get a lot. Uh, from the, from the guest instead of just uh, the usual TV guestings na at most you get five minutes on air diba? Uh, if you have one one to two hours of uh, talking time then you can explain uh, you, you can learn way more about the guests and about uh, him or her and the, what they do and their advocacies So that's what we're trying to do in the long form conversation format, podcasts, and yun lang. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also, if you appreciate and uh, or like whatever uh, what you're gonna see, please consider liking the the page. Uh, you probably have liked it if you're watching it now, and also visit the website. We are in. Um, Uh, we are broadcasting live in Facebook right now. We're not broadcasting in YouTube, um, but we're also we also have a YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload this uh, episode on the YouTube channel as well. Um, it's uh, Comics Man K O M I K S M A N. Um, you can easily find that channel in YouTube, and of course here on Facebook. And uh, also, we have a website that's comicsman.com. Okay, you, you can, you can, there's a link in the podcast there. And also, check out our, <laughs> check out our store. <laughs> no, what up, we believe we have, we have some shirts. I, I only have uh, a couple of designs out, but this one, it's, a, it's a, if you want to support the podcast, you can definitely get some shirts in there. And you can actually also donate if you if you support free speech <laughs> and uh, um, intellectual discourse. If you're tired of kasabawan sa media and social media, support the podcast so that other people will also be encouraged to do things like this, de ba? Because uh, we can't just complain na puro kasabawan ng nakikita natin and we don't do anything about it. Well, this is. I'm not trying to grandstand, but uh, but uh, b- uh, aside from entertaining myself, that's one uh, one of the things that I want to do accomplish in this in this project, and uh, getting some merchandise will help. <laughs> and also, we have we have a, a sponsor as usual, our cakes Miucha. Mucha Lux cakes. These are the the rave of the vegan world in the Philippines. But it's uh, it's not just for vegans. Everybody who have tasted it can attest, diba? <laughs> diba? No. So so check it out. Mucha hello dot That's 
H E L L O dot M I U C C I A. Hello dot Miucha on it's an Instagram. You can message to get your orders there. And uh, also, um, we have. Uh, I, I would like to acknowledge my sound engineer, Keo Gloria. Um, <laughs> so, that's yun muna, yun muna yung spiel ko. Uh, and now, without further ado, wait, further ado I, I finally said that uh, phrase. Um, we have um, a very special guest. And uh, I'm really proud to have her and, or somebody like her to in this in this program na um, basta uh, i'm sure this will be a great pro, a great episode um she is the d- executive director of uh, pos that's the philippine animal welfare society and uh, she's ana cabrera the beautiful and mighty <laughs> yay. yay thank you for having me here yes so yan i have a question sa shirt mo i mean mm. Was it really designed na parang um, it's like blurry or am I just, you know, is it Well, it's a little, mayroon siyang gradient na konti. Okay. That's the, that's the logo of the, the, ano eh, mayroon konting, it's, so, it's like the design. Uh, okay. Supposedly. So, I thought. Uh, it's a, uh, Produced in Funder. Pasta, that's that, but that's a different topic. We can talk about that later. <laughs> so, oh, pero, pero, oh, pero maganda. Actually, maganda, maganda yung ano, maganda yung. Actually, pwede kayong gumawa ng ano, ng, oh, for ng. For pos. For pos. For pos. Oh, actually, kasi yung Funder. <clears throat> okay, hi, Funder. <laughs> so, yung Funder kasi is, uh, is an internet based um, t shirts company. So, if you're gonna. If you're a designer mm-hmm. or you have a brand that you want to promote, like let's say POS, okay. you can hire somebody who 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 can design t-shirts mm-hmm. and then you can submit those designs to Funder. There are other providers may competition yata sila. Uh, I just forget the name. I just know Funder. Mm-hmm. So this um, this service is uh, they will in essentially they will take care of everything else you just provide them the design so bala na sila sa t-shirt bala na sila sa printing at saka sa delivery so so yung profit noon yung syempre kukuha sila ng cut wow, ganun wow that's good idea from the yeah. podcast to the mm. shirt to the mm, dami diba so, oh, so it's uh, iba na yung wala siyang audio wala na naman walang audio for me Walang audio. Check na may yung ano. Wait lang, wait lang. Can you, yeah, jen mo na. Walang lights na itong microphone. Ah, wala. Oh, yeah. Wala si parehas ba? No wala na. No wala na. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. Give me, give something. Wait lang, wait lang. Hmm. We technical difficulties. Check. Meron ulit? Mic Mic test. Sige ka. Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. Parang hindi nagmumove yung podium. Okay na? Yes! Okay. okay na? Are we back? Yes. yes. Anna Cabrera is back. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yun. Can you tell us about POS? So, because, um, I know, because I've been, I've been, I've known you for a while now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, syempre, si Len is, uh, ano rin siya, uh, makapost din yun yes, eh. Yes, big animal lover, mm. big supporter. She supported yeah. our pet cafe with her cake. So, thank you, Len. Thank uh, you, Mucha. Uh, so, yeah. Um, well, POS is an animal welfare organization. Mm-hmm. So, um, ang gusto lang namin clarify, it's mm-hmm. not animal rights. Mm-hmm. So, uh, there's a difference, no? So, basically, we're dedicated to the prevention of cruelty to animals and promoting a humane society. Mm-hmm. And uh, maraming misconceptions here about animal welfare. Because people think animal welfare is about, one, rescuing. Mm-hmm. It's only part of what we do. Mm-hmm. It's actually the minor part of uh, animal welfare. Animal welfare is actually preventing animal cruelty. And how you do that has got to do more with education. Um, yung, uh, trying to stop the bad thing from happening before it happens. Because... Mm-hmm. 
cruelty is such a strong word. And minsan, what people remember is like how badly the, fa- the animal was hurt. And yun yung mga nice stories sa internet, di ba? You see it and no. this, this animal is, oh, you know, it got hurt, then got rescued. So it's nice and action. So it's, it's action-packed. But animal welfare is actually, even before, you're trying to help a uh, lot of animals by preventing animal cruelty from happening in the first mm. place. And you do that by education. That's why I'm so excited. A- any platform that mm-hmm. helps us get the message out there. Yes. Um, this one, you say my podcast is basically mm-hmm. a radio show mm-hmm. on the internet. We like it because anything that will help us uh, spread the message about what is animal welfare mm-hmm. is ano, it's a good thing. We mm-hmm. want our message out there and then we want then to correct a lot of misconceptions about and, posts. And also, post is not government. No, diba? no. So that's another mm-hmm. misconception about the your organization. Eh. Mm-hmm. Para people think na, ano yun, na it's government and uh, dapat compelled kayo to, to yeah. pagtumawag sila. Pos, oh, I think ano, it's because we have Philippines Uh-oh. at the start of our organization no. name. Not that it's bad siguro, di ba? Pero, no. Yeah, pero, but, uh, I understand that in some countries like Malaysia, mm-hmm. or um, they're not allowed to put... Malaysian animal welfare mm-hmm. only government agencies can do this so mm-hmm. many restrictions but in the Philippines and we were established in 1954 so wala mm-hmm. pang, ah, wala pang, wala pang no. rules on mm-hmm. this and um, actually there were only two animal welfare organizations at that time mm-hmm. which was uh, Philippine Animal Welfare Society and in 1904 the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, it's actually PSPCA, mm-hmm. Philippine Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Yun lang yung dalawa wow. words. So, as early as 1904 pala, may gano'n na. Parang nawala ulit. Nawala so. ulit? Oh, mm-hmm. man. Nawala. Wait, wait. Sa... Teka, teka. How about now? Nako. Sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, 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 cater to, bo- to us both. Anyway, okay. so, di ba yung, yung, can you tell us about the history? So, I didn't know that. Meron pa lang, meron na palang animal, so, animal. Two uh, orgs, two orgs at that time in 1954. So, POS is, um, yung 1954. So, Philippine SPCA in 1904. But mm, mostly si- yung si- SPCA Americans, when they came here, they were a uh, group of Americans. So, for hours naman, for POS, Muriel J, a British woman, came here to... She's an educator, mm-hmm. so she established a group, but with Filipinos ah, okay. among the members. So among the members were see Mrs. Lichauco, who is currently our president, but she's mm-hmm. 90 years old. Wow. So 90? She's 90, and she's still sharp, mm-hmm. and and probably because yun nga, she's been vegetarian for, for mm-hmm. quite a long time. It's, she's actually... Almost vegan except for the cheese. Because ah, okay. yun lang naman ang the only mm. breaking of the rules. Pero yeah, she's veg, and so she's. I think that attributes to the long the ano, longevity. The longevity, and she's very sharp. You ah, you talk yeah. to her. She's very interesting to talk with. Wow. Uh, so maybe she can guest here. Yun lang eh. she can <laughs> really can like that's... go out. Pero, parang, paano, paano, I don't, uh, I don't know kung, uh, how would I do talking to an idea. Oh, she's very entertaining. <laughs> ah, really? Para siyang bata. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, oh. Um, she's so young. She's the youngest 90 year old I know. Oh, wow. So she's, she That's still a... says words like, gee whiz, mga ganyan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's 90. So. so, what made her? So, is she the founder? She uh, practically the founder because also Muriel J, the British woman, founded the org. Uh-oh. It was Tata. We call her Tata, Miss mm-hmm. Lichalco, mm-hmm. who uh, worked to to keep the org alive. Because shortly after founding POS, mm-hmm. Muriel J left. Na. Oh, so, so it was passed on to her. Yeah, in immediately I think almost. one year lang siya. Mm-hmm. And then 
uh, Mrs. Lichauco took over and then it went into dormancy. But uh, Tata felt that it was really important. Mm -hmm. So even in the midst of economic difficulties, we were undergoing, um, you know, uh, economic recession. Decline, yeah. recession. Oh, it's not. Ano, we'll just Ay, share okay. the microphone. Okay. Oh, Ganito na lang muna tayo. Alright. So, mine's not working kahit naka ano. Dito. Kaya kayo? Pwede. Kaya. Pero nakalight siya ha. Oo nga eh. Nakalight naka siya. Nakalight siya. Is it good? Can, if, I, ba? if I speak na ganito, maririnig okay na. Naman. Okay. okay naman. Okay naman. O sige, ganyan na lang muna. O sige. <laughs> ganyan na lang muna. Alright. Okay. 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 Oh, yun. So, okay, okay lang. Mal 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 malakas naman yan. Okay. So, we can relax. Alright. Okay. So, si Mrs. Dechaco, she felt na it was important kahit na may economic recession. Mm -hmm. And then, there's like a prevalence of cultural mga traditions that were cruel. Oh, nga, and no. people were fighting pala. They have a right now to eat dog kasi it's part of the culture. She was up against oh. that. Pero she still lobbied. Uh, one of her foremost project since 1986 was lobbying for an animal welfare law. Ah, so the uh, yung dog yung pagkain ng mga aso was a big issue. Oh yeah. Talaga back then? Oh yeah. Um, what we, is the culture of Filipinos about eating dogs? We were known for ano dog eat, for being a nation of dog eaters. In fact, there's really? a book like The Dog Eaters. Yeah, um, but that's not the case anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're mm -hmm. we're among the first in Southeast Asia to come up with an anti-cruelty law. To our credit, ha. Mm -hmm. Pero, um, nag-viral. Nag hindi pala uso ang viral uh -huh. one. Dati kasi, there was a photographer, um, an American photographer, who took a picture of the um, the dogs in Baguio being sold with their legs tied mm -hmm. behind their backs and merong can, tin, tin can, mm -hmm. to bind their mouth, mm -hmm. no? So, they were being sold as meat mm -hmm. in the Baguio wet market. And this Really, when the picture got out sa newspapers, mm -hmm. it, uh, syempre, it enraged uh -oh. uh, the Western ah, yeah. people. And they, they were like, because uh, dogs have never been eaten in the West. Mm -hmm. no? So it's more. But in Asian countries, you uh -oh. know, we're not unique there. So there was a move. Uh, talagang, honestly, the animal welfare movement was built on an outrage against the dog meat trade. Because, of course, people felt strongly about their dogs. Yeah. Up to now, it's still dog and cat. Not because animal welfare doesn't care about other animals. Mm -hmm. It's because the basic feelings that we have about animals, mm -hmm. they it's usually the, stem the out. Thing. Yeah, because oh, oh, where else would you get this empathy? You were growing up. You didn't grow up with pigs, no? no. I mean, you... If if you lived on a farm or ganon, baka you might have mm -hmm. empathy because of your experience with pigs. And, but no, we, we grow up and usually we have a family dog. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a family cat. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how it, be it began for me. Mm -hmm. And for many people who love animals, that's how it began for them. When mm -hmm. I talk to them, ganon nagsisimula. Yeah. And then we progress from there. So I guess it was uh, something that opened doors, this, dog, this outrage against the dog meat trade. And then Mrs. De Chauco used that to lobby for the Animal Welfare Act. And it gathered, uh, no, there was sympathy also, but it was shut down several times because she started lobbying in 1986. Tapos it took her 13 years before she got any attention because um, the, the lawmakers were afraid na they won't get elected because it because might they be... Propose uh, dog eating? Yeah, because <laughs> parang culturally, it was popular. Mm -hmm. So, it took some time before... Uh, so, pero uh, Tata argued that, yun nga, um, sabi nga ni Mahatma Gandhi, mm -hmm. a nation's moral progress can be measured by the way it treats no. its animals. Mm -hmm. And dun, from there, na nakakuha siya na entry point. Then, she got a lot of support from the late... Uh, Senator Leticia Ramos Shahani. Okay. Because she, of course, uh, Ramos Shahani being mm -hmm. in, with Indian, uh, the Indian connection, and she, she was also very uh, focused on animals. Mm -hmm. um, she helped lobby it, and so in 1998, after 13 years of lobbying, uh, President Fidel V. Ramos mm -hmm. signed the Animal Welfare Act. 
So we were so happy because we thought that that would be the end of all the animal cruelty, but hindi but naman wait, pala. There's more. <laughs> May naman pala ang ano eh, oh. implementation problems. Well, I think if uh, if if uh, that is rooted talaga culturally, mm. parang it, it'll be Siyempre, we all want it to end. Pero mm. parang mahirap talaga. It's a challenge. But, so, getting that uh, legislation signed is a big help. So, uh, aside from that, parang, so basically, you're saying, pause is after um, uh, making sure na ma-implement yung legislation na yun. Yeah. Yun. So, that's, aside from the rescuing and the sheltering, yun yung isa sa mga main advocacies talaga ng, ng POS. Mm, we have actually seven programs. Pero mm-hmm. people know only of the rescue, shelter, mm-hmm. rescue, rehabilitation, and rehoming, yung adoption na yan, is only one aspect of our work. Mm-hmm. So, the seven, I can actually enumerate. Okay. Education. That's education. the most important. Yeah. Pero people don't um, connect us to education. Kasi syempre, it's more exciting to Think animal rescue, rehab, mm-hmm. and there's visually the before and after pictures. No? Oh. So it's education, low cost pain neuter, and veterinary services. Because mm-hmm. we felt that the problem was hey, we can't afford, so we have nowhere to bring our animals. So, so we needed a clinic, what the people can go to, mm-hmm. na they can afford. Um, so we made it very low cost. So up to now, if you go to boss, even if you don't have money, even if you have only a little money, you can go there and sign actually an uh, parang IOU or installment uh-huh. sheet. You can do that. So there's mm-hmm. absolutely no excuse na wala akong pera, mm-hmm. I, I can't afford this right now because anything that you have checked at pause and if you don't have money, um, you uh, maybe... Pwede utang. Madalis na madalis. Not naman. <laughs> like, sana naman hindi zero because uh-huh. we're actually giving it at low cost already. Mm-hmm. You can actually sign a... Um, promissory note, promissory note and then leave an ID a valid government ID we'll hold on to it until you re- you fully pay the ah, thing okay. so we do have installment payment so um, education low cost pay neuter and low cost veterinary services teka teka hmm. yung pay and neuter kung, sa, kung hindi familiar it's yung pagkakapon oh yeah pagkakapon <laughs> that's pagkakapon ng ano ng uh, mga ng mga tuta mga aso kahit adults na diba yes. at saka pusa hmm. at saka, basically any pet kahit mm-hmm. any animal na Kahit rabbits, ganun, ganun. Yeah, companion animals. Mm-hmm. Kasi we don't want them multiplying uh-huh. to a point na um, dumami na sila. Na oh. Hindi, inconvenient na for you. Now you, parang mabipilitan ka ng ipamigay yeah. or, or itapon. Diba? Kasi pet homelessness is a real problem. I think it is at the very heart of the problem of animal welfare. Mm-hmm. There are not enough homes for them. Mm-hmm. I, I mean who from among the population of humans na maybe they're willing to have families pero yun na nga human children nga napapabayaan you see them and mm-hmm. not all people can be exactly. responsible for their own children we're talking about people na here no mm-hmm. um so all the more you you won't have the same number of responsible humans for pets so you have to make sure that when you get a pet sana kapon you have to be responsible for kapon ang kapon mm-hmm. People think kapon is for boys Uh-oh. only. Because I think kapon has a, its roots in, in uh, males. No? Pero kapon can be done for females and uh, female cats and female mm. dogs. And much more important for female cats and female dogs. Because you know, these animals, dogs and cats, can give birth three times a year. Three oh. to four times. Because the gestation period of okay, puppy is 60 days. Lang eh. So uh-huh. imagine if you have. Uh, a dog, mm-hmm. or male, female, magbe-mate yan, and then you'll have, by the end of the year, baka if they give birth three times, and then they have a litter of three, immediately you'll have nine or more. Oh, buti kung three lang. Minsan, mm-hmm. six yung ano, di ba? So, kapon is is really, really important, and yet, walang masyadong awareness sa kapon. If you ask mm-hmm. a, an average pet owner, ah, are you a responsible pet owner? Yes. May turok ng rabies, anti-rabies ang aso ko. And parang, oh, hanggang dun lang. Pero, we, we tell people, it's more than that. Kasi in the US, um, pag-fixed ang animal mo, that's the only time that you can be considered a responsible pet owner. So, oh, we want people to fix their pets to kapon. How, how uh, literate 
is the ano, the Filipino public about these things? If you by your estimate. Um, the uh, about these things, mm. this well, kapon mababa talaga ang mm-hmm. awareness. Pero through the years, kasi I started volunteering in POS in 1997. Mm-hmm. From 1997 to now, it has grown by leaps and bounds. Kasi I personally saw how the internet also helped us. Mm-hmm. Um, now there are many animal welfare groups. Um, mm-hmm. There are many rescue groups as a result of Facebook and then people helping each other. So in a way, um, malaki na rin ang awareness. But uh, we still need, parang we're up against a mountain. So we're just going up. It's an uphill climb talaga, mm-hmm. literally. Uh, just making more people aware and convincing them to have their pets spayed and neutered. Kasi it's, ano eh, it's a surgery, so parang they hesitate. And then there's this macho thing pa that oh, we okay. have to fight against. Kasi parang Catholic, uh, Catholics, they're not really... They're trying to confuse it pa with <laughs> religious matters. Talaga? Like, How? Na, we're saying that uh, it's not. There's uh-huh. no connection. Because as human beings, we make decisions, mm-hmm. conscious decisions. But the pets, you know, when the sexual urge hits them, there's like no responsibility attached ah, to it. Kasi they're, so, parang they're, parang they're, are they saying that it's their, the animal's right? To something. So, they're something trying like to that. connect it to that. But we, we, we know this isn't. I mm-hmm. mean, animals can't plan how big their families can be. And uh, how many puppies can I ano, oh, support or can I responsibly? Ano, uh-huh. They can't. So you have to make the decision for them if you are to be a good pet owner. In fact, when we give the talks, nag, ano pa, may mga nagtatanong na why isn't it cruel? Cru- mm. Parang sila pa ngayon yung Parang kami pa yung cruel for promoting spay-neuter. Mm. So, there's a misconception also about spay-neuter. Mm. Tapos, uh, parang, eh, di ba, pa, pa, for me kasi, nung una kong narinig yung idea, parang, as a guy, siya, parang, no, yeah. tatanggalin yung balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Parang... Ganyan yung reaction. Especially uh, from guys, parang, uh, na-emasculate sila, parang, uh, why are you saying this? And mm. aren't you being cruel? Pero no, it's done under general, let mm. me just, get this out there, it's done under general anesthesia by mm-hmm. a licensed veterinarian. Uh-huh. It's the same thing that you would go through like if you had your appendectomy and mm-hmm. things like that. You didn't, it'll hurt after the surgery, could kick it out, pero uh-huh. hindi siya yun like you're being tortured while your appendix uh-huh. is uh, being te- Ganon. So, tulog yung hayop. And then, when you have the thing done, yung kapon, the boys have no problems anymore with tumors. Uh, the, usually, mga Labradors, mm-hmm. they have, if they are um, kapon at before the first estrus mm-hmm. or first heat nila, they zero occurrence down on tumors. Pero yung, so that's for Labradors mm-hmm. and Golden Retrievers kasi matumor yung mga yan. Okay. And then, if uh, there's no chance of you getting pyometra if you're a dog or a cat. Because mm-hmm. pyometra is infection of the uterus. Mm-hmm. Pero in space surgery, it's um, ovariohysterectomy. So mm-hmm. essentially taking out the ovaries and uh, the uterus. Mm-hmm. So wala nang magdanana sa uterus. Mm-hmm. Oh. And if we think about it, kadalasan din naman sa atin, we, ano eh, we get problems about our reproductive system mm-hmm. as we age. Like when, when boys hit 60, they're routinely tested for what? Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, for us girls, hit, we hit 40, we're like m- candidates na for like breast cancer, no. uh, ovarian cancer. Mm-hmm. So, um, actually, when I see animals, I, I, I also think na baka it will also, you know, uh, promote longer life if we took away. And for some, ganun na nangyayari, mm-hmm. diba? Like, I have friends who have had problems with the... Yung, they don't plan on having any children anymore so they just took it out kasi ang dami-daming oh, okay. mga tumors or gan- so all the problems of that you eliminate behavioral problems you el- you mm-hmm. reduce talaga and then they don't go out in search of a mate kasi ganyan eh ang problema is like ay mag yung dog ko nakawala mm-hmm. yun yun na yun kasi naghanap oh, ng yeah. mate so yun. well I had we had our 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 dog, our youngest dog na spayed, and he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ano, ano naman siya, parang hindi naman siya, 
after two days nga lang, nagtatatalon na eh. Di ba? Mm. <laughs> Hindi na siya... Basta, he's... he's walang, parang walang nangyari. They live yeah. longer. They're less stressed. Kasi wala na sila yung... Like, when they smell a female heat, wala nang mga agitations mm-hmm. na ganun. So, ah, talaga? So, yeah. nabawa... Na, is it nabawasan lang or na totally eliminated? Um, it depends on how old you had your dog spayed. Kasi... Ay, or neutered. Kasi... Sometimes when you neuter them too late, mm-hmm. um, they they get used to certain things ah. like yung spraying. Mm-hmm. Sa, sa male cats, they're spraying because they're marking their territory. Mm-hmm. Pa nagbabara ko sila. Uh-huh. And then you neuter them. Uh, it's going to be hard to eliminate the spraying. But if you neuter them early at six months, mm-hmm. hindi na sila hindi ganon. So uh, if you neuter them early, they won't know what they're missing. If you neuter them later, they might have certain habits mm-hmm. na kala nila they're still intact pero hindi mm-hmm. so as a, so that's uh, rescuing tapos uh, ah okay uh, so your main education eater. education uh, pala your education is number <laughs> one okay. and then rescue rehabilitation and rehoming is the shelter uh-huh. um, and then yun nga low cost pain neuter and veterinary services mm-hmm. that our third program. Mm-hmm. We have seven, no? Mm-hmm. So, our fourth program is uh, animal-assisted therapy. We have doctor dogs. Ah! Uh, can so, you tell us more about that program? Okay, so we have, kasi when you're animal welfare, people think na it's always people who are helping animals. We forget an important component. It's not just people who help animals. Um, animals help people too. Mm-hmm. When you adopt a dog, kalamo, you're helping the dog. But actually, for people who have adopted a dog, a lot of them come to us and say, you know, yes. the dog helped us. And the, uh, may magbabago eh. Mm. May magbabago eh. It brightens up your day. Mm. If, that, that only a pet can, a dog or a cat can, da, parang, di ba, parang, di mo naman nahanapin sa ibang tao yung, yeah. yung ibang uh, qualities that you can only find from a dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different experience pag, pag animal eh, mm. diba? So yun yun the animal assisted therapy builds on that. Mm-hmm. Na there are certain things that an animal can give us that people can't. Kasi we're, we're human beings, so we have mga biases. Mm-hmm. So sometimes when a person visits you at the hospital, you say, oh, politician for example, mm-hmm. or celebrity, you can't help but think, ano may ulterior motive ba ito? You know, maybe he's just trying to. But when an animal visits you and the doctor dog just goes there being himself, not mm-hmm. the dog. You're, you're not going to judge the dog na, ay, may ulterior motive ba si doggy? <laughs> you know, he's just going to be himself. He's going to make you happy. Mm-hmm. He won't care if you didn't brush your hair, mm-hmm. na, you didn't brush your teeth today. Mm-hmm. Saka hindi ka conscious na parang willing man. Mm-hmm. No, because the dog accepts you. So there's this non-judge, the, no dog, judgment. Uh, dogs na parang, it's, it's such a gift from, from mother nature na may yeah. dogs, no? Yes, yes. Parang, kasi, iba eh, parang, pag yung pagmamahal ng aso mo sa parang nothing else could could match it i don't know ha, kahit siguro iba eh iba yung syempre iba yung pagmamahal ng parents mo sa iyo mm-hmm. pero yung sa kanya for for another creature to wait for you and love you unconditionally parang ang tagal mong wala tapos alam mong naghihintay sa hinihintay ka lang niya talaga eh tapos nandoon ka pag uh, pag-uwi mo genuinely there's no Minsan, pag uh, kasama mo sa bahay, parang bad trip pa eh. <laughs> diba? <laughs> eh, sa, sa kanya talagang yung excitement. And uh, sometimes, hindi mo siya, hindi disregard mo siya eh. Parang hindi mo siya nung bapans niya. Pero, there are times that uh, that I really think about it. How could anything love me as 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 strong as this creature does. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Na parang sometimes parang ma- ma- magiging emotional ka pa eh. Mm-hmm. Tapos, and uh, aside from that, their lives fully depend on you. Mm-hmm. That even yung pagpupo nila, mm-hmm. kailangan ilabas mo siya ng konti, di ba? Or else, okay, magiging siya doon. Or, and every time that you do those things na mag, you're gonna walk with your pet, kitang-kita mo talaga eh. Tapos pupunta siya. Yung excitement nila. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, de, mag, yung dogs ko would spin around mm-hmm. habang kinukuha ko yung leash. Kasi mm-hmm. pag, oh, tara na, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. So, dala-dala ko yung leash. 
minsan hindi ko pa hawak. Pupunta siya dun sa kung nasan yung leash niya. Mm-hmm. Sila ni Waki. So, tapos, mm-hmm. tapos tinuturo niya. Tapos, pag nakita niya, minsan, minsan kasi kala niya, maglalakad kami. Mm-hmm. Tapos, tumayo lang ako. Tapos, para, kala niya, maglalakad kami. Pupunta siya dun sa leash niya. Tinuturo niya dun. Hindi pa tayo. Hindi pa tayo. <laughs> <laughs> mamaya, mamaya. <laughs> And they're so forgiving, di ba? Kahit mm-hmm. nantagal mo silang nineglect or something oh, like. Eh. Hindi mo siya pinansin. Di ba kung tao yun, tagal nang nagtampo sa'yo, oh, na you're neglecting me, gano'n. Pero dogs, parang, they're just always adoring you. Kahit anong you're gawin mo. Me. Kahit anong gawin mo, they're there. So, it's sad kasi we see a lot of cruelty. Minsan sa paws. We see a lot of neglectful mm-hmm. pet owners. And sometimes, even when we're rescuing a dog from extreme cruelty and starvation, you know, they would still go to their abusers. Parang, oh, nga. they're still trying you know they're still wagging their tails i've seen i've seen footages no footage ng dog na about to be slaughtered mm-hmm. and he was still wagging his tail at his ano kasi i had a case in kalokan about a dog mm-hmm. killer and they showed the video the dog was still you know he was being hit in the face and the dog was still you no, know he was just he wasn't fighting he wasn't shouting he was just and then Uh, the dog killer was interrupted for a while, so he went. The, the dog was still wagging. He still, as he approached him again to beat him again. So, parang it's very sad, because talagang the only one who can, who will be doing it. Parang mm. talagang hindi pa ding human, because pag mm. human magtatanim ka ng yeah, yeah. sama ng loob, right? I'm gonna tear up on oh, that. Oh, <laughs> so parang kami na is so hard, because pe- this these creatures are so innocent. Wala mas silang ginawa, and all they ever did to you must just give and give ano? and yet they're always why, why do you think people are like that why would anyone be so cruel to it's just is it ano is it uh parang super wala na silang tingin na na siguro may, i'm just guessing no uh, uh maybe they're parang yung self-confidence na are so low Tapos, uh, ang kaya na lang nila is the dogs. Siguro. And then, more of education. It brings us back to our number one goal. Kaya, mm-hmm. sinabing, as pos, what, what do you do? We, I don't say we rescue. Mm-hmm. We try to educate. We Our job is more of changing the minds, hearts, mm-hmm. and attitude. That's our primary goal. Kasi, I've seen people who are cruel. And they're not, yung, they don't think of themselves as evil. Ha? They mm-hmm. become desensitized. Mm-hmm. Like, Minsan yun ang kinagisnan. So, we had a, a case before that the dog was tied in na, nauulanan. Mm-hmm. And we said, why did you do that to your pet? Naka, nasa ulan lang siya. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, oh, we're dog lovers. Mm-hmm. But we were taught as we were growing up that the dogs stay outside. So, no matter what, kaya daw nila yon. So, I think based on how we were raised, mm-hmm. Like we'll we'll take this further. We'll take with like farm animals, na no. di ba? We we were taught na okay lang to do certain things to certain animals, but certain animals. Kaya nlas guro yon pero bumu itali, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Kung nakatali yon, siguro if you let them let them roam free in your in your backyard. Tapos meron siya naman siyang mas- masisilungan, di ba? Yeah. Ped na matino, di ba? Pero kung if you're gonna chain him to a, to a tree that was exposed to the elements that's a different story Pero <laughs> alam mo, we lost one case kasi the person alleged so we were we sued him for cruel for neglect mm-hmm. kasi he tied the dogs mm-hmm. outside you know his defense was mm-hmm. his defense was eh kasi ni rescue ko lang yan sa labas eh actually kung hindi ko nga kinuha yan nasagasaan na so if i didn't rescue them they would have died mm-hmm. so parang nagkakawang gawa nga ako just by giving them that like giving them scraps and giving mm-hmm. them and sinabi ko you know they would have been better off if you didn't rescue them kasi anong gagawin ko sabi niya sabi ko it's not your duty to pick up stray dogs from the streets it's the city pound mm-hmm. who's supposed and if you're gonna pick them up then make sure that they're the better for it I mean mm-hmm. they're better off with you Because if you're, they're not gonna be better off with you. If they're gonna starve, if they're going to be exposed to the elements, they're then better changing. na lang to to have the city pound, the animal control, mm-hmm. get them. And because that's what the city pound does. They mm-hmm. do, they get stray dogs and then they euthanize them. So, mm-hmm. kaya nga we we advocate also 
um, we know that uh, this is being done for animal control. So, we want people to be responsible for their own pets. Ayaw, nila, ayaw namin ang nasa labas yung pets nyo. Kasi dati, ganyan eh. I'll have a dog, pero pawawalan ko for tae siya sa labas. Mm-hmm. And then, balik na lang siya. And then, pakainin ko na lang siya ng mga tira-tira namin. So, parang dati yun ang standard ng Pinoy's for pet keeping. And, the dogs oh, okay. deserve better. Well, kah- they shouldn't the, be... Mm-hmm. Kahit nung... I, I uh, grew up in the province and... Uh, in the, although I've always been a dog lover, and uh, I treated, I think, naman, uh, I treated my um, my pets well. Teka, I have something. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 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 You're not so, eating. Okay, okay. So, uh, pe- pero the culture there is uh, it's really different, Pab. Especially back. When I was growing up, it was uh, back in the 80s, late 80s to early 90s. Ano pa yung nagbebenta ng ano? May, may mga dumadaan pa nga yung mga aso. Ay, diba? Yung mga tapos isang jeep na... Tapos yung ibang mga... Sabi nila, nadala nga daw sa bagyo yun eh. Mm-hmm. Pero they roam around the... Kung saan-saan siguro, I, I'd assume. Sa mga bayan sa Laguna. Tapos, uh, bebe kung... Uh, sa, sa, yung isang uncle ko nagbenta ng kaso eh. Oh. Uh, so, yung mga sobra na. So, definitely yung ibang kapitbahay namin. So, they just, they buy it for 100 pesos. Mm. Tapos bibigyan ka. Tapos, yun, dadali na nila. Mm. So, yeah. there's a, actually parang detachment din, no? Diba? Meron ding uh, discrimination. Pag Aspin, Asong Pinoy, which mm-hmm. we used to call Askal, mm-hmm. Asong Kalye, Yun yung mga type na, o, oh, ibenta mo na lang. Kasi oh, for, for katay or something, that was the old thinking. And then, they would buy poodles, pure breed dogs. You'd never think of, ano, bebenta mo si poodle mo no, para pa katay. When they would uh, catch the dog meat traders, they mm-hmm. wouldn't see a pure bred dog. Kasi, mm-hmm. They would always see the askals or mm-hmm. we change the term to asong pinoy. Parang mas parang mas gusto ko na ano, na bantay na lang yung ano nila. <laughs> yeah, ikaw wa din because well, eh. dati bantay was the name given to dogs kasi they were tied out. They were like 24/7 alarm systems, burglar alarm oh. systems. Bantay yan. And then the poodle stayed at home. Kasi sa kasama mo sa bahay, kasama matulog, ganyan. Ah, okay. Pero si Bantay nasa labas. Uh, Ayun yung askal. No, na. This, this is my, ano. my theory lang. No? Kasi, di ba, dogs are bred for specific purposes. Mm. Like, let's say, the Labrador Retriever. They were bred to to catch, to retrieve ducks. Mm. Dun sa naga, pag nag sila, that's why they swim. Kasi nandun sa swamps yun eh. So, pag they swim to the duck na no, barrel tapos babalik nila kaya soft mouth yung ano eh para hindi mm. madala, madamage yung dogs tapos yung ano pa ba yung mga yung mga rottweilers they were trained out to fight lions I don't mm-hmm. know if that's true pero that na, I've read something like that na back in the Roman gladiators pa they, they fought lions mm. so pang pang battle dogs talaga siya so, so I think Hula ko lang naman, no? Parang, when when yung mga ancestors natin had dogs, parang, kasi, pa, ano sila eh, uh, I noticed na pag yung aspin namin, konting kalustos lang talaga, magwawala yun eh. <laughs> so, talagang, talagang, I think they were bred na para magbantay talaga. Maybe for, for the, for the fields, kasi uso, uso yung nakawan nung ano eh. Uh, there's a matter of adaptation. So, mm-hmm. maybe in, in the Philippines, ganun yung ano. But I really, this breeding of dogs for specific purposes, mm-hmm. medyo, di ba, we're against breeding. Uh-oh. Actually, we messed up a great number of things by intervening. This mm-hmm. this intervention, uh, we made pugs. So, yung mga pangungaso na brachycephalic. So, now they have difficulties in breathing. Uh-oh. They have all sorts of defects because of the breeding. Our interference from the start has messed up our, not just the animals, nature, everything. So, uh-huh. just to suit our purposes, mm-hmm. pero the dog, in its purest form, mm-hmm. the, that's for the sake of argument, mm-hmm. the very first dog, I, I mean, he only was there and man began to see him as 
companion, mm-hmm. paprotektahan ako, territory, mm-hmm. as in, normal, natural mm-hmm. instinct, like, if an invader comes into your house oh, or your cave, ba? that dog will protect you. Mm-hmm. So, I think, from way, way back, we've abused this friendship yeah. with dogs. And also and hunting then, companion. Yeah, and then ba? we, because back then, that mm-hmm. was our need, oh, no? We had a need. A, mm-hmm. Pero now, we messed up a lot of things just for frivolity. Mm-hmm. Um, we want our dog shows. We want our dogs looking like a particular mm-hmm. look. But, you know, we don't need that. The mm-hmm. dogs don't need that. We just need yeah. our basic you know, friendships, yan din eh. Like, Meron mga weird-looking dogs eh, yeah. di ba? Parang, parang, parang bakit? And then people... If, you, if you're gonna release that to the wild, parang, yeah. hindi, they're not gonna survive. Ang dami ng defects. Ang dami mm. ng defects of many breeds of dogs. And it is uh, because of our own selfish reason. So, kami is like, we love dogs because for, for themselves. So, when you go to our shelter, mm-hmm. when people actually ask us, oh, do you have this breed? We're like, no. I mean... Ah. But, parang, it's like coming into a home and say, parang asking you, ay, ano ka ba? Pure, you know, we were looking for a sp- uh, specific nationality mm-hmm. or certain look. Na parang, eh, bakit? You know, we have to assess you first. Are you the kind of person we want to adopt our dogs mm-hmm. out to? Mm-hmm. How, how about, what do you think about, um, parang, I, I don't know. I'm ignorant about these matters. But, uh, yung bang Aspen, ano siya? Official na breed siya? Nung, uh, no. Can we can we do something about that? Na maging official siya? At least just to gain a little respect for them? Do you um, think maybe if it's recognized somewhere, they, they, mag-re-resonate siya to common folks there is actually a a move towards that mm-hmm. by someone I, uh, a breeder pero it would entail breeding the asong pinoy uh-huh. and be, kasi kami sa pos we don't care about like breeding we don't care much mm-hmm. for breeding kasi we see so many homeless animals die in yeah. pounds everywhere mm-hmm. 200 dogs are put to death for no other reason because excess sila excess, nasa yeah. labas sila Nobody can adopt them anymore. The city cannot fund their mm-hmm. bakain. And so it's just unconscionable na mag, magpapa-promote pa tayo ng any more breeding when these dogs are dying. I guess when the dying stops, when the killing stops, mm-hmm. siguro, if we've reached the point na konti na lang the animals, and then ano, well, then maybe we could support some sort of mm-hmm. breeding. But breeding for any purpose. Uh, what I meant was, was not to breed, promote, but uh-huh. just to to uh, parang formal name uh, na, na, na these dogs are hindi kasi let's say uh, yellow labrador mm. alam mong yellow labrador yon mm. diba so pag sinabi mong aspin ito yung characteristics uh, niya so ano siya uh, parang i don't know the word pero parang yun yung standard. Yeah, and pe- they informed us that in order to get that standard, you have to breed certain generations ah. of dogs before they become officially known as like Japanese Spitz, ah. Philippine I see. native dogs. So it entails breeding. Kaya no, when we were told na... But why? But why? Kasi may, I think these are things that breeders would know. They mm-hmm. have to establish certain lines mm-hmm. generations but isn't the bug kita kita naman yung ano eh like katulad ni boy boy yung dog namin <laughs> pag lumabas ka and may mga kamukha nga si yeah. parang you would parang it's for me that's that says na oh this is one breed mm-hmm. kasi pag tinignan mo yung beagle pag nakakita ng beagle pwede nga silang magswap na ano minsan mm-hmm. baka hindi mo pa ma- na- mapansin they have these things eh sa breeders there's a science to it so it entailed breeding that's why we're against kasi ah, POS as an animal welfare org is against what if we just breeding uh, wala akong pakilang sa inyo basta ito yon. <laughs> that's why we made the term asong pinoy mm-hmm. and asong pinoy is a, uh, just like saying na and if you're not pure breed, doesn't make you not pure of heart. So, mm-hmm. they should accept you for that. And, parang nainis kasi kami, may mga dog shows, and then, ay, bawal aspin, ano lang, Where, there was the German Shepherd Club, mm-hmm. the Shih Tzu Club, mm-hmm. and then, parang laging itchipuera yung askal. Mm-hmm. And then, we had, we found the term askal medyo derogatory. Medyo, uh-huh. uh, Kasi parang asong kalye. 
uh, sa contraction of asong kalye kay mm-hmm. askal and anything associated with the kalye is derogated i, mm-hmm. I mean just look ah babaeng kalye oh, when they say babaeng kalye ka parang you're tambay yung ba- 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 yung you're available Speaking to of. anyone mm-hmm. uh, when you say ay batang kalye yan It means your Neglected. your parents don't care whether masagasahan ka nandiyan ka eh, batang kalye ka. So, we said there has to be something done about the term na asong kalye. Kasi yeah. it perpetuates the Neglect. myth na, ay, pwede lang mag-aso ka and then iwanan mo sa kalye. Eh, babalik mm-hmm. din yan, pakainin mo ng kanin na tira-tira. So, mm-hmm. we wanted uh, to move beyond that. So, sabi namin, ano ba ang magandang term? Aspin. Kasi asong Pinoy. Asong so, Pinoy. like us Pinoys, we're a mixture of many many nationalities mm-hmm. and parang I, i we don't like like parang di ba yung purist ka gusto mo pure ganto lang pure pero essentially every one of us is a mixture of so many many breeds and so we should stop discriminating on the basis of breeds or mm-hmm. you know yung where we came from kasi we're all you know just we should be accepted for our qualities na and the dog is a dog is a dog is a dog kahit na ano pang breed niya so yun that's what the asong pinoy meron kami ni launch na program in 2007 aspin is in so we wanted to highlight the beauty of the native dog so heart evangelista is one of yung celebrities namin no, who, i think she's one of the most active at least in the previous years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There are many of them. Um, si Carla Bellana is also one. She's very supportive of mm. yung mga efforts. So, uh, it's nice kasi they lend their celebrity status mm-hmm. yung voice for the animals. Mm-hmm. And they, we need it eh. Kasi, oh, if you lend your celebrity voice to things like, commercial things like shampoo or ganun, oh, I think that the animals deserve this counting PR and promotion para they can also be appreciated yeah. and loved yun. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh so that's for Oh yeah, ano for. <laughs> so Dr. Dog is the the animal assisted therapy. It aims to show that animals also help humans. So we have this specially uh, tested dogs na hindi sila they won't bite mm-hmm. or anything. So we bring them to cancer wards to make the children feel better about themselves. So, yun yung ano, emotional upliftment. So, the other programs naman uh, is our lobbying and prosecution. We feel that oh, laws yeah. are important kasi POS was the organization that lobbied for the Animal Welfare Act. We were also the organization who um, who was the forerunner of yung pag-amend uh, ng Animal Welfare Act kasi mm-hmm. we, we saw that the fines were too low. Mm-hmm. So, in 2013, oh, nga. Oh, nga. Bakit? Dati, ano, ano ba yung fine ngayon? Dati, yung maximum fine for any cruelty was 5,000 only. So, 5, kahit, na, kahit na mahulihan ka ng one truck of dog meat, 5,000 yon. Pa nag-kick ka ng dog, 5,000. 5,000 per dog. Yun. Di ba? So, sabi namin, um, we, we need to um, amend. So, in 2013, uh, we amended the law. We proposed to amend mm-hmm. the law. And then, it was passed by Congress. Um, so, naging maximum fine niya is 100,000 pesos. And the uh, imprisonment is up to two years. 100 na? 100,000? Mm-hmm. Pero it's a maximum. So, mm-hmm. uh, when when we post on Facebook that this person only got six months, ang daming umaangal. Mm-hmm. Di ba? They killed. They, the cat was killed. Pero, um, it's all dependent on the judge. The judge has the say, the final say, kung gusto nilang like a maximum mm-hmm. or what but i heard na most judges would not opt for um imprisonment kasi ano daw our prisons are full ah, so they would opt for fines fines mm-hmm. ah ganun mm-hmm. so diba one of the i just want to uh, ask about this diba one of the cases recently or maybe last year was the was the there's a movie Ah, sa Oro, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. In Oro, they killed the dog for the mm-hmm. movie. And so, mm, many of them admitted as much in their interviews. They mm-hmm. just later retracted. Um, we filed the criminal case, pero it was so hard because uh, we couldn't even get a copy of the movie because of the copyright laws. Kasi if we took... Uh, 
uh-huh. a copy of the movie in the movie house, mm-hmm. then we would be Spiracy. a camcording, <clears throat> diba? Mm-hmm. And then, syempre, when we asked for a copy of the movie, all of the people we talked to said, you know, the owner of the movie is the producer mm-hmm. whom we were trying to sue. Mm-hmm. Who, of course, will not let us mm-hmm. get a copy of the film. So, um, it was one of the many difficulties that we had. Uh, it was dismissed, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, the case is still pending for motion for reconsideration. Mm-hmm. Nag-file kami uh, with the Department of Justice. So, it's not a dead case yet. Mm-hmm. So, it's, uh, no, it's, you, ah, paano ko ba, how, how do I frame this? So, you got a copy, you, you, napanood mo naman, yes. pero you can't use it legally. Yes. Because <laughs> parang you can't. Para, but if I bought na ano, uh, I bought somebody buys it na I mean, a pirated copy. Ah, wala bang hindi pa siya released sa DVD. Hindi. Ah, okay. So yun ang ginawa, yun ang move nila. Yeah, and you can't even. But of course, the real. It's evi- a technicality. The real evidence would be in the raw footage. Mm-hmm. Yung talagang raw din. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, they have access to that. Oh. And we, maybe yeah, they have deleted it already. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but we've had many, many people telling us that mm. they they were part of the editing. Because mm-hmm. there's a team that always no. said. So they saw the actual cruelty, but they couldn't. Uh, no. Parang they would have to be subpoenaed. And subpoena would come later pa. When the investigative hearing portion has been hurdled na. Mm. So, you can't get subpoena t- at the t- investigative hearing level. So, well, undaming technicality. Mm. So well, at the know. very least, it's uh, the the issue had been raised. Mm. Diba? Na, hindi pwede yan. Diba? Mm. I, I'm sure people took notice, the industry took notice of that case. Diba? Yeah. At it's the weird. very least. It's weird nga, kasi we've been talking about uh, animal actors and their rights for a long time. Madami mm-hmm. ng animal cruelty that happened before all, though, mm-hmm. but we weren't listened to. Parang sometimes it's timing. Sabi nila, bakit sa oro ganito? Bakit sa ganun? We don't know. Sometimes there's an issue and it gathers momentum. Mm-hmm. Na, na for no reason. Kasi we've always oh. fought animal cruelty mm-hmm. in media and entertainment. Laging, if there's cruelty here, we would speak up. But nobody would really pay attention. I guess in this age of Facebook, nag-take off talaga when, when somebody said something about Oro, it took off eh. So, it's netizens and we're, we're sort of uh, ano, um, pleased then that this happened because mm-hmm. it put a spotlight on cruelty in film and media and we had, we launched a campaign called Artists Against Animal Cruelty, AAAC. Mm-hmm. Now, these are celebrities, directors, mm-hmm. uh, uh, theater actors who would say na not for the sake of art. Mm-hmm. You can do art mm-hmm. without hurting an you know, animal. And also, maybe they can act as sentinels. Na, I mean, pag, if they see on this uh, a script that mm-hmm. that uh, would use violence to animals unnecessarily. Well, not, not that there's a necessary mm-hmm. uh, na option. I, I just want to say hi to Mary V. Mary V, she's watching. Hi, Mary <laughs> Thanks, Mary V. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dito, nag, kaya ko siya in-open eh. Yung, tingnan ko baka may... If you, if you have questions that you want to ask Anna or me, just let us know, okay? Um, uh, and please share. Share this this uh, this podcast. Share the link. Because, uh, ano yun, maganda yung pinag-uusapan namin eh. <laughs> diba? People need to know about these things. Yan. So, so I um so I was going about lobbying and prosecution. That's mm-hmm. one of the programs. And then we have campaigns. Yung mga campaigns like an artists against animal cruelty. Kasi yung lobbying and prosecution is more of the law. Mm-hmm. And campaigns is if you want to uh, raise awareness about anything, it's not just enough that you have education. Eh. Kasi education is more like you have a curriculum and mga modules for that. But for a campaign, you have to think more of. PR, how, how do you uh, disseminate this info to the public and make it catch fire so that awareness grows? So there's lobbying and prosecution campaigns. And finally, we have disaster preparedness and response for the animals. Because lately, 
there have been since 2009 yung ondoy mm -hmm. made us more aware that we are prone to disasters because oh, of climate change no? ano yung mga, mga stories on during those times uh, well there was awareness also that animals need to be rescued or kailangan kasama sila sa disaster preparedness kasi ah, naiiwan eh um hurricane katrina emphasize this was the highlight of hurricane katrina sa us mm -hmm. kasi so they were hit with Hurricane Katrina, mm -hmm. and then they were trying to rescue people from rooftops. So, mm -hmm. but they said no animals. But the people didn't want to leave their their mm -hmm. roof without my dog. Now, mm -hmm. if you're not taking my dog, I'm not leaving him here. A lot mm -hmm. of them have an emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. So, as a result of that, people instead of being rescued, they they said just leave me behind if you're not going to take my pet. So. Mm -hmm. The U.S. being an advanced country now realized that if you're going to have a disaster mm -hmm. response, you have to be prepared to take in the mm -hmm. animals. Or if you're going to prepare people for disaster, you have to prepare their pets also. Mm -hmm. Para kasi less mortality. Ano na, oh. sila nag, actually, sila yung mga nagpausod talaga niyan. Eh. Yeah. So, dapat sila yung unang gumawa talaga. No? Yeah, so, so, we can... So we can have a structure that we can follow. Mm. So we have that also. We're nice. lobbying, POS is lobbying for the inclusion of animals mm -hmm. in the National Disaster Preparedness Plan. Pero, hindi pa rin kami, minsa, hindi pa rin kami pinapasok. We're, we're there. Every time there's a disaster, we're there. The Red Cross is there, we're there. Pero wala pa rin official ano, from the government that, you know, that puts us in with a partnership in order to prepare more people. And, it's sad because animals, we're not talking about dogs and cats lang, ha? Mm. In Mayon, when it threatened, it was erupting, the farmers didn't want to leave their carabaos mm. behind. They said, you know, pag iniwan namin yan, para mo na rin kaming pinatay because mm. our livelihood, that's our source of livelihood, mm. wala na kami. Ano? So, ganun din. If the, go the government had prepared something to evacuate also these animals, then... Diba? Wouldn't they have an easier time evacuating the people? So, uh, we really, yun din ang isa sa nila lobby namin, the inclusion of animals in disaster preparedness, such as this one. Then, like, ngayon, we have typhoons, storms. Um, we have information then to people na, please, if, if there's a storm, kindly make sure that your pets aren't caged. Kasi yun, nung 2009, yung, yeah. yung ondoy, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of dogs Dog. who drowned because they were tied or they mm -hmm. were in their cages. And in ondoy, you know that in Provident Village, Marikina, mm -hmm. the waters rose up to roof, mm -hmm. second floor levels or beyond, dun sa mga ano. And we saw a lot of dogs that didn't have to die if only the the owners like let them loose because mm -hmm. sometimes if you can't do anything for the pet because mm -hmm. it happens so fast maybe the least you can do is let them fend for himself yeah because mm -hmm. swim so we saw mga stray dogs that they were on rooftops they got rescued mm -hmm. so i saw a photo of you i, I presume that's mm -hmm. uh from the ondoy mm -hmm. uh ano, storm but mm -hmm. uh, anong mga nung araw na yun? Um, well, there's a lot of realization from people na, you know, we have to be better prepared to respond to disasters that gave way to mga, lahat ng mga LGUs ngayon, di ba? They're, they're more equipped for disasters. So, and then we saw the other side of it kasi we're paused. So, we're mm -hmm. there to respond to animals. Mm -hmm. Um... And we didn't want to get in the way. Who's with you? Ah, volunteers. Where are you? Um, you know, we were only a handful, mga less than ten people. Mm -hmm. And some of them, you know, now because they're very popular. So let's see, Doctor Nielsen Donato, who's with a TV show. Mm -hmm. Um, he it was one of our uh, volunteers for responding to disasters. So he would go up the roof to mm -hmm. rescue. I so you know. rode what uh, rubber boats talaga to get there? We didn't have rubber boats then. We have it now. Mm -hmm. Pero we hitched a ride with yung mga LGUs distributing uh -huh. food. Kasi we didn't want to get in the way of the yung immediate rescue, uh -huh. yung, yung first kasagsagan. Responders, uh -huh. Pag first responders, it's always people. But we mm -hmm. noticed na as when, when humans are rescued na, a, a few days after, it's the animals na that are neglected. Kasi mm -hmm. the people are be starting to recover. And then it's the animals na na-stranded pa pala sa roof. They don't have mm -hmm. food. So we were feeding in place. We were feeding them from the rooftops. We were... Kasi, di ba, wala nang nagtitake care of sa kanila dahil nag-evacuate yung families quite suddenly. 
uh, because it was an emergency. So, it was mostly feeding. Um, and then we saw, may mga heartwarming stories, like there was this dog whom we rescued. Pagbalik, after a month, the owner went looking for the dog mm-hmm. all over and then saw him at our shelter. Oh. So, 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 iyakan yun. Yes, kasi hindi oh nila, God. hindi nila akalain na they would still see him alive. So many dogs died. I mean, so many people died, mm, you know? So, yeah. parang, before they had a sense of, like, piecing their lives mm. back together, they thought, oh, nga pala, what happened to our dog? So, they went, and they went to pause. There was a reunion, so medyo, ano yun, um, it was the also... Heart-wrenching? Yeah, we... Kasi yung, na video, na yeah, video we didn't have yung. video, and then parang, nakita mo, kita mo yung reaction ng dog, ha? Uh-huh. Nakita niya yung owner niya. Parang we didn't have to verify kasi sometimes we would say, uh-huh. Nako, check mo muna kasi mm-hmm. mamaya, you know, mm-hmm. uh, just trying to claim the dog. Mm-hmm. She would need to prove. And, but this one, when the dog saw, the, she was a teacher in Miriam College. Mm-hmm. So, and the dog saw her. Talagang, you see that this is the owner. Because mm-hmm. talagang, parang yung slow mo na nag ka <laughs> sila. So, it's, it's, it's nice because this is the... The nice part of our job, because mm-hmm. minsan we have bad aspects of our job, Heart like breaks. we see Heart, we diba? see cruelty, we see violence uh, committed to the animals, mm-hmm. and then parang kawawa the animals that can't be saved anymore because of that. Na, wala na dugdug na something. Pero we see also these happy reunions, and sometimes it's worth it for that one moment mm-hmm. na happy reunion na nakita mo. That's why I, I admire you so much, because <laughs> you are parang uh, I don't know how many people, much, uh, lalo na, you're a woman, di ba? Na, di ba? Tapos, uh, me, as a guy, parang eh, may hirapan nga akong ano eh, to deal with uh, these kinds of cruelties to helpless creatures. Mm. Kasi, tapos, pero you can, how, how do you survive? But, you know, na, of... it's not just me, it's it's the team. You know, we have mm-hmm. uh, volunteers, yeah, yeah. they're amazing, of they're course. guys, girls, and they're so selfless, ah. Sometimes mm-hmm. I, I don't give them even food. Uh, we ask them, oh, we need help on this. They go. They, they spend for their own fuel, their own food. They come. And then sometimes overnight, walang kain, walang tulog. They pack the relief goods with us. So mm-hmm. the volunteers are also amazing. And it's not, um, I don't think we'd be able to achieve what we have achieved ng wala yung selflessness of all these people. It's not just... Uh, it's not just me. It's, it's a whole lot of volunteers na behind the scenes. And most animal people, they don't want to be interviewed. I, uh, yeah. Ganun they're, sila ka-selfless. I, no. They're, I see that most animal people are introverts. Uh, uh, okay, I see. So, shy. Very shy. Parang, you'd have to twist their arm. Or like, <laughs> patayin mo na lang ako. Huwag mo akong ihatap sa Camera. TV. So, I guess I've just been... Uh, chosen kasi parang maybe ako maybe. lang ako lang yung makapalang mukha na can go uh, and speak up pero mm-hmm. there are a lot of people who's responsible for the good work mm-hmm. but they just don't want to be recognized so uh, so yun so well you can recognize them now yeah diba? there are a lot of them there's too many to mention uh, pero our amazing volunteers uh, parang you know uh, I would like to thank them uh, thank you thank, thank you, you. For, for, for helping you. in in many many ways mga iba they're just helping us with emails yung iba they they do our posters ay uh, iba they help us at events sometimes in their own homes they help us Le- len is a volunteer she makes this fabulous ay, y- 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 vegan cakes <laughs> vegan cakes <laughs> it's all <laughs> vegan uh, thanks to len um. uh-huh. so yeah yun yun ang example ng volunteerism at at its best kasi mm-hmm. they just give and give and they don't really ask for any payment Anything so okay mm-hmm. may ano eh so i feel nga that the way god made it then parang sometimes there's so much evil na parang how, how can a human being possibly be a human being na who committed this type of cruelty. Mm-hmm. Minsan, it, there's terrible cruelty that happened. Mm-hmm. And I said, this can't possibly be human. Parang, Ako nga, no? ano na, parang... Maybe it's a psychological thing then. Yeah, so you, you, you... And yet, 
on the other side of the coin, there's like people who are capable of giving. They've yeah. given so much. Mm-hmm. They will continue to give. So sabi ko, it's it's amazing, no? So the way God made it na you're not to to make you you you're about to lose hope that mm-hmm. humans are this. And then another human comes up and then, ay, okay, so she's the, the parang foil mm-hmm. dito sa ano. So well, siguro kasi well, definitely humans are capable of of uh, really horrible things, mm-hmm. the mga unimaginably uh, cruel <laughs> and the ba basta horrible. Um not just not just to animals, even to other humans, di ba? So, yung iba siguro merong ano lang talaga. Meron. Siguro maybe there's a, I don't know kung sakap niyo pa yun, mga psychological aspects about animal awareness. Maybe. Uh, maybe, but I believe we can change people's attitudes. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's just a matter of an idea parang having its time. Kasi dati, di ba, we used to treat women very badly. Mm-hmm. I think some of us some still of us do. Still, mm-hmm. uh, pero, we've progressed, diba? Mm-hmm. So, I think there's no way but up for animal welfare. Mm-hmm. It'll get better. And, when I see young people now, the way they talk, they're so open and kita nila sa Facebook, it's just, and I, I feel na, you know, the we are going to do so much more for the animals mm-hmm. in the future. Kasi, we have, we have a lot of uh, good people, like, yeah. staff, Standing up for the animals. Yeah, speak of Facebook. So mm. often, I mean, it's uh, way too often that we see posts na mga na abuse na animals. Tapos they just yeah hashtag itatag kayo post blah 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 mm. blah blah blah. So yeah. So uh, what 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 would you say to those people to properly inform them on what to do? Pag may ganun? Oh, I guess. We start by saying that animal cruelty is a crime. Mm-hmm. So being a crime, what would you do if it were any other crime? Like, you see a person getting robbed, mm-hmm. do you tag like yeah. like VACC for like you don't do that? The first thing you should do when you see a crime, witness a crime, is to call the police, law enforcement. Yeah, you are not definitely the police. We are not law enforcement. We're not even a government agency. Oh. We're an NGO. And if implementation talaga, it's the Bureau of Animal Industry. That's the government agency that's tasked to implement the mm-hmm. Animal Welfare Act. But they also don't have police power. So mm-hmm. anything they do, they have to coordinate, pa rin with law enforcement. So, please call the police. Uh, or, na-videohan na pala. But the first thing they do is upload it on Facebook. Oh, nga eh. Sometimes, parang you'd think, gusto lang magpa, ano eh. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, I, I don't, whatever. I don't uh, begrudge people na. Yeah. If you wanna post it on Facebook, fine. Mm-hmm. Pero, can you please make sure na before you post it on Facebook, you've given it to the police muna. Because mm-hmm. the police need it more than Facebook does. And yes. I, the police need it more than Kasi your your I feel people like the share number mm-hmm. of shares the number of likes mm-hmm. and sure yeah awareness is good mm-hmm. pero make sure that the law enforcers get the information first especially if you're if you're just gonna share it pero you're not gonna be willing to testify ayun ang problema kasi um I, I don't know if people know na in court mm-hmm. an an evidence cannot be admitted if there's no source of the mm-hmm. evidence Example, you got it from someone. Mm-hmm. So, the defense for the person who's being accused is going to ask, where did that video come from? Because now it's so easy to manipulate videos. You can actually make one up. You can mm-hmm. make one, uh, kunwari, put me at the scene of the crime. So easy now. You mm-hmm. can do that. So, iko question yung ano ng video mo. And then, ang masasagot lang, wala. We got it from somewhere. But, no, you can't be anonymous. You can't no. be ano. Um, I think the only way you can put in a video as evidence is if it's a CCTV uh, footage mm-hmm. from an from a, a camera ng mm-hmm. LGU, like what mm-hmm. happened in Pasay, I cat am... killers. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, kasi that was CCTV, and then mm-hmm. the barangay officials testified. They they certified this is an actual clip mm-hmm. from a CCTV we got between. No street A and street B, Uh-oh. and we have identified the following. Kasi parang kaya sila, so kilala mm. nila yung mga nasa video. 
So, I think that was the only time that we had random video na wasn't taken by anyone admitted into evidence. Wow, if you, yun pa lang. Yun pa lang. Kasi if you take a video and post it on Facebook, you have to be able to be in court to say mm-hmm. na, I took this video with this, mm-hmm. with my iPhone or mm-hmm. my Samsung, whatever. You have to be there. Kasi nga, when the, the defense try, tries to smash like the source and ano uh, there's nobody there to say na this no. this really it's happened. very frustrating no oh so tapos they tag you tapos mag, they they're gonna complain na wala kayong ginagawa <laughs> yeah but uh, it's not us i mean mm. we're not we're just the usual ngo that you have like parang sabi ko pag nagtapon ba ng basura and you want to complain ba may nakita ka sa video ng tapon basura do you call like an environmental group na NGO. Uh, <laughs> Parang it's us specifically for the animals. I think we've been identified. Yeah. Now, kasi by default, the government is so seriously absent here. Mm-hmm. And that's not just an accusation, a, na baseless. In all the years that the Animal Welfare Act has been in place, since 1998, the Bureau of Animal in- Industry has not filed a single case for animal cruelty. Mm. This is the Bureau of Animal Industry. And yet, POS has already filed dozens. So I think, by sheer default, dahil wala nang ibang nagpa-file, mm-hmm. people have gone to us and have started assuming na kami yung agency uh-huh. because the government was absent. So, minsan, it's a double-edged sword na you're the only one doing it and now people have identified you as the Kayo na lang. Kayo, you must be the oh, agency because you're the one filing. But actually, no. Um, well, it's it's. I suppose there's something good about that too. Pero de ba? <laughs> sana, sana help na lang or oh. donations. Because right now, um, the only ones doing are volunteer lawyers. The volunteer lawyers are not paid, mm-hmm. so they're not paid, and they're they have to craft these affidavits. So we have one volunteer lawyer right now now who's overworked. I don't know if I should mention his name, but he's overworked. We've Why done not? so many <laughs> cases. Attorney Wancho, thank you so uh. much. Uh, so he's drafted these things, and then we have to photocopy these things. We have to print it because he sends it. And we need uh, for printer ink. We need transport. Like tomorrow, oh, I have darling. a I have a hearing in Binangonan. So we have for to what? go there. Uh, uh, goat cruelty. Goat. Yeah. Also, diba, it's a, there are a lot of lo- lots of people who complain that you only cater to dogs and cats. Ah no no. Diba? So, uh, paws is also applied to hooves yeah. and uh, claws. And <laughs> like I say, we're just waiting for a witness. So mm-hmm. if there's anyone like this particular case, it was a goat, a uh, family goat. Mm-hmm. It was pregnant, and there's this cruel person lang who just for fun. Kicks the goat to death. Wow. Yung last kick, kick. Oh, oh. Tapos the other goat, pa previously daw, he forcibly made the goat eat rocks oh, until man. the the poor goat died. Talagang he was jamming rocks into the throat of the goat. So, pero ngayon lang nagfile yung family nung kinik na yung pregnant goat. So, it, we just we're we're willing to file anything. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. So. He made a goat eat rocks, mm-hmm. and then once the tummy is full, he kicked him. I uh, know that by by making the goat eat rocks, that was a separate case. Ah, so that's the, a different the case. goat died there. But, but, but the goat which died nung una, they didn't file a case. Ah. So repeat offender nga oh eh. my God. I'm telling people, if you don't file a case now, it's gonna escalate. It's gonna be your next goat, your next dog, mamaya yung bahay niyo na pinapasok niyo and kayo na ang sinasaktan we it's been established that people who are cruel to animals they are more prone to committing violence against people so mm-hmm. there's a direct link between cruelty to animals Ay. and interpersonal violence it's oh, already so... proven by FBI in mm-hmm. in the FBI watch list nakalagay na sa watch list yung mga cruel to animals kasi mm-hmm. they found that there is a common denominator among serial killers. Mm-hmm. And that is, they all hurt animals wow. before they escalated to 
hurting human beings. Kaya nga, it's important. People think that we're just sensitive, we're, we're sentimental, na, mm. oh, you want to protect animals. No, when we protect animals, we actually protect humans. We promote a peaceful society because if we let the violence against animals uh, uh, leave it unchecked, mm-hmm. then we will also be faced with a very uh, violent society. And um, we believe this. So we're not just doing it for the animals. We're doing it for ano, people should make the connection between animal welfare and people welfare. What happens to the animals happens to us. Yeah. Yeah, yun yung ano eh, di ba? Yung interconnection ng, 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 mga, ng mga tao eh. Yeah. And uh, if we can't, di ba, if we, uh, uh, kung hindi natin, if we're not gonna take care of animals, what does it say about us as a, as a society? Di ba, like what you said, uh, what Gandhi said before. Mabigat ba? Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure you have clarified a lot of things about well number one your organization and the, also about about uh, how to treat animals diba hmm. kasi yun nga eh parang uh, may uh, especially back then nung like I said in the province parang yung idea na na your pet dog would sit on the couch parang sa, sa iba revolting na yun eh ah, parang hay, hayop ka hindi ka pwede dyan pag tao lang yun parang yung there are still people who cannot consider their pets as family mm-hmm. pero I don't get naman if you're not gonna consider a pet part of your family what are they? Hmm. Diba? <laughs> Reminds me of the time we were trying to raise funds for POS way way back mm-hmm. so we were baking dog biscuits mm-hmm. and the dog biscuit ingredients were human grade ah ibig sabihin what we would what no. we would use for ano uh humans no. we we're also using and then we didn't have a big oven mm-hmm. so we requested the bakery to bake them for us but when the bakery learned na it was going to be for dogs mm-hmm. they refused to let us use their mm-hmm. ba- your their oven mm-hmm. kasi for humans lang daw sila. Mm-hmm. And, parang, what was, what was up with that? Ang, um, malinis naman yung ingredients. We no. didn't like, <coughs> hindi nila gets, no? Oh, so, kawawa din. I mean, we, we're up against a lot of, um, and even, ano, cremation. Uh, there's an issue also, like, there was a person na, who wanted his pet cremated, but they wouldn't uh-huh. have it, the pet cremated in the same Plate as the as the humans, which I can't understand, because parang ano yun, it, they're just bodies. They're like hmm. they're not, I don't know, but I, my belief is that they're not there. I mean, they're bodies, and you just there's leftover material of this earth, and you know and it's fire. <laughs> it's uh, it's probably the most sanitized place <laughs> when it's uh, when it's incinerating, so, diba? Parang ano yun? I guess they feel na the defiled daw, the human whatever uh, bodies because memory of I don't know. Bas, basta there's this discrimination against animals that I can't understand. Um, we shouldn't be focusing on our differences. Mm-hmm. I think we should focus on how much more we are alike. Like mm-hmm. animals feel. Uh, I actually got asked that question when we were lobbying for the amendment of the Animal Welfare Act. Mm-hmm. The senator asked me, Pero Ms. Cabrera, can you answer just one question? And I thought it was going to be a difficult question. Mm-hmm. I was prepared for every other question mm-hmm. for the amendment. But then he, he said, Do animals feel? And what? And oh. then for, for like 10 seconds, I was floored. I, I, I couldn't find the words because I was prepared for the difficult mm-hmm. ones. And if the the lawmaker didn't grasp the idea that animals can feel or sentient, maybe he's just asking to have it on record. Uh, I don't Hopefully. know. I don't know. <laughs> Pero I was very confused. Uh, oh, and then and then I managed to blurt out an answer. It's on record. Nakalagay. I said, "Ah, uh, yeah, they, they're." I've seen 
that when animals are adopted, they're happy. I've also seen animals that are hurt and they cry. So they do have feelings. That was the only wow, reply that, that I I was able to blurt out. Pero I guess, just, you know, I how hope the, that was ano enough. Yung, ano yung naging response niya? Uh, uh, thank you. For, mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, Pero that's a good answer. Right? So if you, if pag inadopt ka, is something, basically, essentially, you're, you're telling them na if something is, something good is done to you, just like a person, he would, he would feel good, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, kung if you harm another sentient being, you're gonna feel pain. Yun nga eh, sentience, that's the crux of the matter talagang any an- anti-cruelty law is based on the assumption that you are giving these animals protection from being hurt because you recognize that they're also hurting. They're similar mm-hmm. to us. They're not like... Because there are people who have this perception that Ay, animals yan, hindi yan. Like the one who tied yeah. the dog sa labas umulan. Hindi, okay yun. Hindi nila nafe-feel yan. Hindi katulad nung tao, iba daw pag mm-hmm. umuulan. So I guess there's also that with yun nga, farm mm-hmm. animals. They say, oh, iba kasi, you know, they're, they're not the same. But mm-hmm. we are the same. So, unless we recognize that, um, I don't think we'd be very good at protecting animals. So, we just started with uh, the anti-cruelty law. And people are asking, does it include farm animals? It does. Mm-hmm. In the Animal Welfare Act, there are guidelines for, well, this is a, uh, parang ano, um, humane slaughter. Mm-hmm. Pero, Uh-oh. when you think about it, there's no humane slaughter. Yeah. Pero, pero, you will think also about the traditional things that they've been doing in the slaughterhouses mm-hmm. that are not um, too cruel, too... They're... Hindi na ano eh. Medyo, they're, how can I... Primitive, very primitive. So, we have to like move what? on. Uh, for example, there is this practice of Zorro. Um... In order to mark uh, pigs mm-hmm. as my property, for example, mm-hmm. I'm a farmer, I would put A on the pig. So, kasi mm-hmm. it will be too much of a hassle. Like, there's no label that will stick. Uh-oh. So, I would rather mm-hmm. hurt cut. it with mm-hmm. cut. And so, minsan and dami because there's like many farms na pinanggalingan nung pig. So, they would A, Z, ganun. And the animals are bleeding nag infection. Exactly. Now, it's Zorro under the Animal Welfare Act and in cooperation with the National Meat Inspection Service, we said Zorro is no longer allowed. So, yung mga ganon na simple things that we've done to better them. So, at least now, yeah, the animals are still slaughtered. But, wala na yung Zorro. A flooding is one of those things that they do to animals before na hindi yun outlawed before. Mm-hmm. Flooding is when you put water excessively mm-hmm. sa mga pigs, cows, in order to make them heavier. Ah. So, yung mga nagbebenta ng cows, they would flood the animals with too much water, so much water that sometimes you see the water coming out, and the animal is, nakikita mo, hirap na hirap. Oh my God. Um, in order to increase the weight of it, pero... Para pag binenta, pa, yes. para it's, it's uh, basically, you're, you're ano... Well, dinadaya mo siya. Yung... Yeah. And it also affects the quality of the meat. Mm-hmm. Ha? Kasi ngayon, it's so soaked in water. So, more mabilis siyang mapanis. There's a certain smell for mga animals that are flooded. So now, under the Animal Welfare Act, it also made things better kasi flooding is against the law. Mm-hmm. So, in a way, it it uh, it is a step towards progress. Yeah. It might be argued that, you know, yeah like let's just not all eat meat which oh. of course i agree no mm-hmm. pero since we can change these things overnight Instantly, yeah. oh it's the animal welfare movement that tries to make things better in the meanwhile oh. right, like right now because you can't go to the table of government officials and say na go vegan all of you na parang you're just going to be get thrown out of oh, that no? when you're like meeting with industry people so you have to sit down and you actually have to and listen talk, to the industry, the mm-hmm. yeah, and then try to find some way that you can ground. you can make things a little bit better. So, parang get your foot in the door, mm-hmm. move an inch, then another inch, mm-hmm. then probably in the future, di ba? Kasi mm-hmm. ako, 
you know, we I, I don't eat meat, but mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be at the table, negotiating table and and push for for that oh, with like a big farmer and mm -hmm. ano. So these are the things that animal welfare does na hindi people are not aware. People say, "Oh, you have no right to be anim uh, fighting for the animals when you when you're still, you know, talking to the big farmers, but a lot of good has been done by talking to the ones that actually use animals for the industry. Okay. You're trying to change their mindset. So, mm -hmm. maganda din. Okay. So, uh, I just want to say hi to the to the people who are watching. Please share this uh this uh live stream as you can see we're we're we're, we're uh, talking about uh, a great topic here which i think a lot of people needs to see so please do share just uh, like like this video so that uh, the facebook's algorithm would uh, would prefer it okay and uh, more people would see it so please help uh, Anna's cause and uh, our animal friends is uh, well welfare. <laughs> yes. Yun. So, <sighs> <Grabe. laughs> well, but we can go to a lighter topic. We have Sige. our doctor dogs at birthday. Ah, yun, 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 yun. Uh, uh, that's a that's a interesting topic. The doctor dogs. I, I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware, aren't even aware that uh, that kind of service is being done here. Mm. Diba? Kasi yung I'm sure many people have seen sa mga sa let's say sa TV na sa, sa US ginagawa yan, ba? So, pero meron din dito. So, and they're there at Bertis North at the mall right now. Mm -hmm. They're trying to give people a sample of what it's like na. Love is the best medicine. So, mm -hmm. they're there. May parang pop-up pet cafe mm -hmm. that we put up. And every time you go in, you get a sample of, of I saw that. I therapy. saw that installation. We were there a, few, a couple of weeks ago, eh. Uh, kala ko nga nandun ka eh. And it raises funds for POS. So, ah. all the the proceeds of that goes to us. Who then. trains the, the, the dogs? Sino yung nagte-train ng mga An amazing dogs? detail about doctor dogs. They're not trained. We don't want a trained ah. attitude. Kasi, you can train actually for a dog not to bite. Pero, mm -hmm. When we test the doctor dogs for temperament, we want it yun, yun yung natural ano niya. Mm -hmm. um, so when we test the doctor dogs, we pull. We do everything that an, an, that might annoy annoy the dog. You actually hindi siya tamang handling. Mm -hmm. These are things that when you do it to a dog, to a regular dog, the dog will bite because mm -hmm. parang it's your fault. Dog eh. yung yung mm -hmm. <laughs> yung pull the tail uh -oh. while you're, while it's eating or what. Startle the dog with something. Mm -hmm. Suddenly poke the mouth mm -hmm. or uh, pull the hind leg, mm -hmm. which is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Touch the genitals. It's very, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to go crazy. An average dog, mm -hmm. if it bites you under those circumstances, the dog would be perfectly in the right to bite you. No. It's your fault. Pero the doctor dogs are a different breed in a sense na even if you do these things to mm, them they're more tolerant they they don't the, the the worst thing that a doctor dog can do to you is move away na lang mm. move away cuz he's not going to growl he's not gonna bear his teeth mm -hmm. he's not even going to war he's just going to move away from you oh. so yung mga doctor dogs namin tested yan so i, I think that's why the malls like them so much kasi they're very ano eh, safe. Uh -huh. uh, so there's no chance of the dogs like biting or ano. Are they similar to therapy dogs though? Oh, they are therapy dogs. They are actually. Uh, the pero they're in the Philippines. They don't get a chance to be therapy dogs. Because yung animal assisted therapy has to be done on a regular basis mm -hmm. uh, in hospitals to see that there's an effect on the patient. But since there's so many restrictions in hospitals we aren't able to show that much uh, about their effect so nagiging animal assisted activity na lang siya kasi mm -hmm. if you're not able to do it regularly it can't be called AAT or animal assisted therapy it will only be an AAA which is animal assisted activity uh, so uh -huh. so pag uh, let's say 
who who avails this kind of uh, service? Let's say, nasa bahay ka, you can't go out. May mga ganun ba? May, may, More of institutions. institutions? Uh, we want, we're actually... Uh, with the Philippine, uh, so home for the aged, mga ganun. home for the aged, cancer wards ah, of pediatric. Okay. Uh, we're we're regular at the National Children's Hospital mm-hmm. and sa PCMC, Philippine Children's Medical Center. Mm-hmm. We're always there. Um, tapos we have a recent tie up with Medical City with the psychiatric ward. Is it, so these doctor dogs they're privately owned dogs. Yes, they are. So they just basically they're volunteers. Yes. They are owners and the dogs are volunteers. Yes. So uh what if let's say you are you're a patient tapos you you prefer one dog. Mm. So you can't uh, you can't force them to be there all the time siguro. Sometimes we get a request mm-hmm. na they want they're asking for Dr. Rusty. They have the special mm-hmm. request. But you know, since they're volunteers, the volunteers' availability would have to come into play, no? So they they would ask them. Pero we have volunteers. Na they've mm-hmm. been personally approached mm-hmm. by certain people. Na you know, I like him. Can you bring him again? And mm-hmm. they would go on their own mm-hmm. without the team, na. They ah, just go. Ah, so you go with uh, with a team. Usually, there's like four doctor dogs para pag sa isang ward, we can mm-hmm. split up. Kasi a dog can spend like five to ten minutes with each patient lang. Mm-hmm. And then we can go room to room. Um, problema sa some hospitals, they have several restrictions. Like pag medyo ano sila about uh, fur. disease, fur, or mm-hmm. whatever. I think some of them still have this... Ano na dirty ang dogs, mm-hmm. which is absolutely no, no, that's false. My next question, yeah. Absolutely false because the do- our doctor dogs are cleaner than most, the some of the people I know. <laughs> so, and they sleep uh, with their owners. They're very well cared for. Mm. Um, so wala talagang ano. We're actually afraid of what the people can give to the dogs. Mm. Minsan sa hospital, say. Eh. Oh, actually. Um, yeah. Um, but more hospitals are being open about it. We've recently been invited to St. Luke's. Mm-hmm. We, it's, uh, we have a visit coming up. And then Medical City nga with the psychiatric ward. Because for mental health week, oh, we were invited. What, what are the, the scientific uh, findings about Dr. Dogs? Ah, you know, if people who own pets are... Uh, I don't know the percentage, I forgot. But when they are hospitalized, there are... Uh, more likely to recover faster than people without pets. Because I think there's also an inner drive that my dog needs me. Um, so, yeah. they, they, they go. Um, so, they're able to recover. And then, interaction with the doctor dog, uh, therapy animals. Because uh, they were introduced into the hospitals to make it uh, parang less hospitally uh, mm-hmm. in in nature. Parang yung si doctor... Patch Adams, diba? He believed that the treatment uh, of a person wasn't just based on the medicines that you mm-hmm. would give. It's more of like, if your doctor is not compassionate, mm-hmm. and That's doesn't Patch make... Adams, Robin Williams. Yeah, so it, doesn't, if it doesn't make you laugh, <laughs> uh-huh. if it's like, ah, okay, take this, and then he's cold, then that has an effect on your well-being and rehab eh. Kahit mm-hmm. na, no matter how good the medicines are, pag walang bedside manners yung doctor. Mm-hmm. Yan. And that's where the doctor dogs come in. Kasi nga, sabi ko sa'yo, walang judgment. <clears throat> They're just being themselves. They have no ulterior motive. They're not trying mm-hmm. to get elected into office. Mm-hmm. They're not trying to, you know... They don't need get, anything in return. They don't need anything from you. So, the, the patients are more relaxed. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, they have feelings of well-being. Alam mo, when we went to the cancer ward of uh, Baguio Medical Center, we had actual an- anecdotal lang to. Ha? The parents would come to us and say, oh, buti na lang dumating kasi the kid was crying and throwing a fit kasi masakit daw yung injections mm-hmm. kasi there was like treatment and mahapdi yung gamot. But when the doctor dogs came in, you know, he was more open to the treatment and the shots kasi mm-hmm. he was like, his mind was on the dog mm-hmm. and and making the dog feel better. He was trying to brush the dog and mm-hmm. so even cancer kids um sabi nung mga sa National Children's Hospital, meron daw isang bata doon. She was visited by John Lloyd. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and so... John Lloyd is a dog? <laughs> no, no. John Lloyd, John Lloyd, the actor. Ah, the actor. So the kids were excited. Pero sabi nila, you know, na the doctor dogs came and the excitement was parang mas greater pa for the dogs than John, ah, Lloyd. John Lloyd. Kasi kids and dogs are mm-hmm. like... Um, yeah. yeah, they might be excited by John Lloyd, pero Maybe parang... there's also a biological bond na rin siguro, mm. no? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, by the way, nag, uh, I named one of our cats before John Lloyd. <laughs> okay. Si John Lloyd. <laughs> anyway. We have, we have one story pa nga. Pero walang doctor cats. Walang. Malirap, no? Para, Kasi para... this is a program from Animals Asia Foundation mm-hmm. in Hong Kong. And... We asked them about other species and they said, let's not make it complicated because there's a testing process. So uh-huh. We don't want to like add another species pa and then get so many. Uh, no. We no. just have standards for the no dogs. dogs. So, uh-huh. yun, um, one of the more favorite stories that I like to tell is the one in Hope School for Autistic Children. Mm-hmm. So we visited, the dogs visited, the very first doctor dogs, they, they visited there. And then, the, the teachers started whispering excitedly among themselves. Sabi nila, oh, you know, um, this the young boy was talking to the dog. Mm-hmm. And sabi namin, don't worry, ma'am. You know, they do it all the time with our mm-hmm. dogs. <laughs> <But> <laughs> this, is, this is normal. This is, mm-hmm. no, no, you don't understand. That child hasn't spoken a word to anyone wow. since the start of the school year. And these were odd yung experts for special education mm-hmm. ed- teachers, uh, they said we weren't able to break through, we're trying this this child was just rocking himself mm-hmm. but um, o- you know autism, mm-hmm. so may mga levels so he, they weren't but he getting can talk. he can talk no, no, he wasn't talking he wasn't That's... talking to the teachers, to anyone and then on that day that the doctor dogs visited, he was talking to the dog, so the teachers were like, mm-hmm. oh my god sinasabi? Telling stories to the wow. dog, like a normal child. So, they said, this is a breakthrough. So, Sa kututoo po ba yan? Yeah. He, he hasn't spoken a word. So, they were so, kaya pala, they were so excited. So, mm-hmm. after that, the, the teachers figured that I think uh, an animal would be good for the boy. Mm-hmm. And they convinced actually the mother to get a dog. Mm-hmm. And the progress of his rehabilitation moved forward very fast from that time on because of our doctor dogs. So, mm-hmm. if anyone ever doubts about the effectivity of doctor dogs, so I, always tell them, dog. <laughs> I always tell them that story and I tell them, you know, I don't need the actual studies to show me that the doctor dog program works because mm-hmm. we enter the room. We don't do anything. At The dogs just come in and the mm-hmm. dogs do all the work. The children's faces light up. Mm-hmm. So bright na parang, how can you deny that something's happening in this room yeah. na we're not we don't have anything to do with it because the dogs just came in mm. and then the kids are like they're happy they're feeling better yeah, already no? even yeah. uh, every time I have a, a new guest mm. na mag enter dito kasi we're inviting people again. <laughs> pero when they see Waki ay oh diba eh, eh, so well Waki is really cute <laughs> <Is> <laughs> But that's one thing though. Pero pag nakita nila parang oh, kahit minsan parang nawala pa sila papunta. Mm. Iba eh. Parang, parang kaya maganda nandiyan siya kasi <laughs> parang it lightens up the mood instantly. Mm-hmm. Instantly. Yung pag lighten up ng mood ng mga guests pagdating dito. Mm-hmm. So yun. It's a doctor dog. Yeah. So uh, we're happy about the program. This doctor dog program is the best part of our work. Mm. Kasi ano eh, pumunta ka doon para mag-distress. Yeah, it's a, it's amazing kasi for once it's the animals that give back naman. Ah, diba? Yeah. Parang yeah, yeah, you don't that's one thing of, kasi well, so work yeah, namin yeah. parang oh, we're always helping them, we're always helping them so we're confronted with depressing mm-hmm. scenes. But now here it's the animals they're just giving back. And the, and it's ano eh, it's uh, it gives it gives them not uh, a reason that Kaya, kaya mo siya kailangan, di ba? Mm. Kailangan. De, parang, it's another reason for you to help them out. Mm. Diba? So, these are, I mean, well, essentially, miracle workers <laughs> sometimes. It is the brainchild of, ano, si Jill Robinson of Animals Asia Foundation. This foundation works in China. 
Mm-hmm. And you know, China naman, with many, many cruelties also. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they were trying to promote humane treatment of animals. But Jill saw that that doctor dog can be a powerful tool. Because if they see that the animals are helping, then all the more reason for you not to hurt them and to protect them. So, um, we are fighting evil with good. Mm-hmm. But um, show them the good mm-hmm. so that they will stand up for the animals. So um, maybe you should know. You should create a Facebook page. Na wherein you don't need to update it. Yung mga parents na lang ng mga patients yung mag, uh, mag-post mm. doon. Di ba? Mm-hmm. So, so that people will see naman na, that, like, that's another point eh. That, uh, actually, ngayon ko lang naisip. That this, this is a chance for, for animals to give back. Mm. We don't really realize that often eh. Parang, parang this is, uh, kasi, they're animals. Hindi man sila marunong magsalita. Pero look, we can be uh, we can be a part of society, a helpful part of society. Mm. It gives them a voice. Mm. They're they're a ano, big part of us. Um, yun nang sa ano eh, um, service animals, the bomb mm-hmm. sniffing dogs. Yeah, those. And there's also a lot of cruelty in that industry. Oh, pero yeah, let's yeah. not go there. Uh-huh. Um, if you want to, but yun nga, the dogs okay. render a big service to us. Pero yun nga, we're not. Um, it's the dogs are a microcosm of the whole animal kingdom. Parang, kasi they're the closest to us. Pero we have ah, to appreciate okay. animals mm-hmm. for for themselves. Na we should, uh, you know, we should have a duty towards them to prevent suffering. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm-hmm. Saka iba yung iba yung bond talaga ng humans sa dogs eh, no? Mm-hmm. Parang you can't help but ano eh, but at least give pri- prioritize them but be a little parang um, what's the term Mag- parang uh, magkaroon ka ng favoritism yeah. <laughs> uh, towards dogs may bias talaga sa dogs i mean admittedly uh-huh. humans have uh, more bias mm-hmm. na favorable sa oh. dogs than other animals and sometimes it's frowned upon like people are ah more of dogs than you know but you know you can't blame them because you know, we share our homes with these animals mm. like for example in oro mm-hmm. when there was cruelty committed against the dog mm-hmm. malaki ang uproar mm-hmm. uh, similarly we protested against the cruelty done to a pig and a chicken in balangiga there is mm-hmm. this indie film now we also put out a strong statement and we wanted to file criminal charges pero the outrage the uproar no. wasn't as loud as oro mm-hmm. because it was a dog it was a you parang yung sa kabila pigs naman pigs pero it was really bad yeah. then for the pig because mm-hmm. uh, it was impaled dun sa gitna and the, the pig didn't die Instantly. immediately it was writhing in pain for a full few minutes into the film talagang you would see it was suffering greatly and we were horrified it's a awful film this this Balangiga but and yet it won awards daw uh, you know so we still have a long way to go in terms of making people aware that suffering is suffering and mm-hmm. you shouldn't be making animals suffer just for the sake of a film because there's many ways of achieving the effect pwede mo namang implied like when we do a film where a, a person is killed you don't actually kill the person but we we make the viewers believe that the person was killed oh, and it's ano eh parang you're just doing it for shock value that's a it's a it's a petty trick di ba mm. pa, parang come on <laughs> I think if filmmakers aren't very talented then they resort to that the shock value kasi oh, yeah. if you had talent and a bit of skill you could actually achieve the same effect without doing the actual harm kaya nga sinabing depiction eh mm-hmm. yung parang when you make a like uh, a, a rape movie you don't go out and rape an actual person you mm-hmm. you make it so believable that people are like oh, no. but if you're devoid of talent like the one who made Balangiga mm-hmm. then you know all you have is just you wanna shock people because you want them you want them to be shocked because there was also parts of the film where people were cursing and saying uh, mga obscene things mm-hmm. so I guess unnecessary naman na unnecessary just I for think, the sake of it yeah just para lang magkaroon ng reaction 
So, in a sense, talagang it was disappointing kasi Balangiga came after Oro. Mm-hmm. So, we thought na people would have learned oh na by God. that time. Uh-huh. Pero no eh. Um, and then there's still this discrimination between like dogs and then pigs and then... Yeah, but there's um, a, there's a, ano eh, parang, parang, parang humans have decided the hierarchy of, ano eh, of mm-hmm. uh, animals na at the top of the nung hierarchy na yun, are dogs and mm. then cats and then the pets. Tapos... Talaga? Cats are second? <laughs> I'm <laughs> well, a cat then, person. Uh, I, cats na, will na, dominate the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one sa'yo, cat. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's talk about cats naman. I what what else? Well, anong mga... What have you learned about cats as on, a, on your perspective? Mm. <laughs> I, I was... I was dragged into animal welfare because of cats. Ah. Okay. Not of dogs. Mm-hmm. I am the only officer in POS that doesn't have a dog. I have cats. Ah, okay. I have 12 cats. All of them are rescued. Unique rescues. Huh? Nobody gave birth to mm-hmm. either one of my cats. So they're all unique rescues. Some of them. And then on top of the 12, I have uh, fostered cats pa for the shelter. Mm-hmm. Um Kaya ako na ano into animal welfare was I grew up in Sampaloc area. Mm-hmm. And in Sampaloc there's a notorious practice of and I think some areas also people throwing away unweaned kittens. Uh, parang ay nanganak na ulit yung pusa. So mm-hmm. tapos so my sister and I we were picking up these kittens, bottle feeding them, we were rescuing them from the streets. And I felt I said there has to be something. Why why aren't people doing anything? Is mm-hmm. this is unacceptable? I can't accept that if you don't like mm-hmm. another cat, you just throw it away mm-hmm. because this is a living creature. So yon. And then and from also, there also causes more problems, eh? Yeah. And yes. at that time, I wasn't even aware because I was young and mm-hmm. there was no also concept of capon, mm-hmm. spay neuter. So, when I grew older, I swore to myself, I would do something to improve the welfare of these animals, mm-hmm. uh, particularly cats. Mm-hmm. So, I, then I, I tried searching for a group. I met up with Mrs. Li Chao Ho, mm-hmm. um, And that's where it went from there. So, we were just a small group then meet, meeting sa kitchen ni Mrs. Li Chao Ho. We're just a group of five or six people. Mm-hmm. And so, we, then we started planning the shelter, the campaigns, the lobbying for the Animal Welfare Act. And then, you know, it became pause. And uh, so we're, we might have achieved uh, a bit, but when you look back na mm-hmm. how we started, we would never have imagined na we would get this far. Because no. we had no money. We had like, we were meeting in my, our presi- at our president's house, in mm-hmm. her kitchen. And we had like a passbook, and we started out with like uh, funding, like from the International Fund from Animal Welfare. Uh, meron lang seed money don, mm-hmm. and we didn't know the first thing about. How did you get fund. your your headquarters? Um, we which ha- is located in in Aurora uh, Boulevard, mm-hmm. Katipunan Valley, very near Ateneo. Uh, uh, balo- but along Aurora uh, Boulevard some may, side, uh, fly over don, the That land is owned by Meralco. Mm-hmm. Um. Mrs. Lichaco was friends with uh, Don Manolo Lopez of mm-hmm. Meralco. And so she approached him for an, a piece of land na they're not using or uh-huh. or they were using it but there had high tension wires so uh-huh. hindi pwede yung residential doon. Uh-huh. So they, okay. he said, you know, use it for the animals. So we were allowed to use it. Mm-hmm. So that's where it all began. We built only a few structures. We were thinking we would only have 20 dogs mm-hmm. and 50 cats. Now we have 272 cats and 74 dogs at the shelter. Mm-hmm. Um, and we never uh, we never built the shelter to rescue strays. That's not the purpose of the shelter. Ah, okay. The shelter was built in order to show people that you can also do your own rescuing and transforming the animals. Kasi dati, we were under so much pressure to adopt out our dogs. Ah, yeah. Kahit na, halimbawa, we just rescued one. Mm-hmm. 
it was pangit pa and we we were in a hurry oh, nga, it, we were in a hurry to get it out of the vet clinic kasi we had no more money that the, there was a lot of char charging going on dun sa clinic mm -hmm. we wanted to so we would take them home and we would notice that we were the only ones adopting our own mm -hmm. rescues so we said we need a bit more time we need a place where we can put the rescues and then make them grow into beautiful animals and then ah, we yeah. have to adopt them out when they're beautiful not yung pressure no. the people na o oh, adopt them na kasi ang daas na ng bill namin ah, so yeah. parang awa adoption mm -hmm. we don't want awa adoptions kasi um, our first shelter manager si Oscar Lay got a grant to intern at a US shelter mm -hmm. and he learned that US shelters don't pressure people like, oh, pangit pa, or maawa ka. Kasi dati, that was the old way of adopting out, eh. Mm -hmm. Maawa kayo, kawawa this dog without fur, yeah. gan ganon. Um, he said, you know, they're very, they have pride in these animals. They never show them as broken, mm -hmm. second-hand animals. They actually say, we're at par with your pet store. Mm -hmm. Animals, these animals are not damaged. But then there's a pride, the mm -hmm. sort of pride in the marketing mm -hmm. that we did. And so, I mean, we want that. We want na something na not out of pity. Mm -hmm. Not a pity adoption. Not a pressure adoption. Na, Please adopt now or else the dog will be put down. We yeah. didn't want that. We wanted them to be appreciated for for themselves. Mm -hmm. na they're beautiful animals. They, and then we wanted the shelter to be a center for education. Na whenever people come, we would tell them, "Oh, look, spay neuter. Mm -hmm. uh, look at these animals. We we got him this way, and now he's this way." No, uh, so it's more of education. Pero people, when when they began to see the shelter of paws, it began to get featured on TV. Mm -hmm. Ang nakuhang takeaway ng mga tao is like, ah, that's where we bring oh, our animals to ab abandon them. Na, parang that was not <laughs> oh, the message. Eh. Parang, oh. How often do you get uh, these uh, baskets ng kittens, na boxes? Ano ba? They, do they literally leave them at the gate? Uh, may mga ganun ba? Meron. meron. Diba? Some of them leave them at the gate. And it's sad kasi sometimes, kasi the gate is near the highway. Mm. So the kittens crawl into the highway. You know, the morning when we see them, nasagasaan na. Oh, man. Uh, and then some of them we've seen on our CCTV. Kasi we have CCTV mm -hmm. now. They throw the, the animal over the fence wow. and the animals end up na nabalian pa because they're like trying to throw them over the fence and and we can't keep accepting animals because we also have limited space so mm. if we end up taking animal after animal because of each sob story or whatever mm -hmm. we're going to end up being cruel to the very animals that we tried to save so mm. we have certain policies so Ang policy namin, if they're victims of animal abuse, mm -hmm. um, we will immediately take them in and file criminal charges against the animal offenders. Yun yung number mm -hmm. one admissions. Now, secondly, if they're just stray animals na you happen to rescue, and there are many stray animals in many, many pitiful conditions. Uh -oh. Sabi ko nga, wala akong nakitang stray na okay siya. Uh -oh. Okay lang siya. Siyempre, either uh, mangy, uh -oh. payat, or eventually, kung wala siyang problema ngayon, I know that three weeks from now, he's going to have, he's gonna be run over. Uh, yeah. Or magkakasakit because nobody cared enough for him to get the shots. Mm -hmm. or, you know, he mm -hmm. will nahawa siya because there's this dog who has TVT. TVT is transmissible venereal tumor. Mm -hmm. So it's like venereal disease. Siyempre, pag may venereal disease yung some dog nag-amoy sa kanya. So sometimes you see these dogs no. with buhol. So there are many strays. How do you help them? Not by rescuing them all. We put up a clinic where people can avail of free. You can get free services if they're rescues. Mm -hmm. You can get low-cost services if you are yung a poor pet owner. Mm -hmm. Para you don't end up like abandoning your pet. No. Kasi I can't afford the ano uh -oh. anymore. Uh -oh. yun, nga yung, yun yung misconception eh. Even... Kahit ako eh. Mm. No, kahit nung magka-college na ako, parang the first time I went to a vet, mm. kabadong-kabado ako eh. Kasi mm. hindi ko alam kung magkano yung... I've never been in a, in a vet clinic before. Mm. Tapos parang, shit, 
magkano kaya ang, ano, ang magiging gastos ko dito? Mahal? Actually, back then, hindi pa ako, I, I wasn't uh, properly educated about mga sakit ng mga ano eh. Um, nagkaroon ng parvo yung mm. puppy ko. So, it was too late mm. eventually. Pero, when I got there, naisip ko baka mga 20k ang gastusin ko. Mm. Ganun. Kasi meron kaming kapitbahay na, na vet dun sa village. Mm. Pero mga ano lang, wala pang 3k. Mm. So, sabi ko, hindi ah, naman pala. No? Tapos, mm. when I learned about kung magkano yung shots, the, then, naisip ko, shit, sayang. Diba? I could have mm. saved the the puppy kung alam ko lang mm. so sometimes kasi parang people are overcome with the with the assumptions mm. that make them uh, feel na scared na yun nga gastos kasi a lot of people are broke <laughs> yeah yun pero yun nga if yun nga prevention di ba it would have been cheaper to prevent the yeah. problem before so ganon din na approach sa animal welfare we don't want to be known as Rescue, rescue. Because rescue is temporary. Rescue hmm. is something you do. It's unsustainable. Oh, it's unsustainable talaga siya eh. Unless yeah. you're super, super It's rich. important. Mm, I mean, yes. for, especially for the animal in need of help. But it shouldn't be, I feel, the focus of animal welfare. Yeah. Per se. Kasi you have yeah. to have, uh, the, look at the bigger picture and focus on preventing. <clears throat> Kaya nga sinasabi ko, there are many pop-up groups on Facebook that their sole goal is to rescue this, save the animals of this pound from being euthanized, mm-hmm. which is good. I mean, it, it's it's good work. Mm-hmm. Pero, if you don't have a component of your group, which is also working on educating and offering low-cost pay neuter, all your efforts, I think, would be parang, um, how do I say it? Kulang. Kulang. No. Kasi, uh, yeah, kasi it's like you have a bathroom that's filling up with water. And this mm-hmm. is always the analogy that I use. Okay. It's flooding. The bathroom is flooding. So the rescuing is your tabo, mm-hmm. your water dipper. So you're trying to lessen the level of the water mm-hmm. by by uh-huh. putting, making salok, palabas uh-huh. yung tubig. And the water dipper can also be adoptions. You may able be able to adopt some, mm-hmm. but not all of those in mm-hmm. need. So you're able to decrease the level of the water, the rising water. Yeah. But the water will continue to rise if you don't turn off the faucet yeah. with running water. So what is turning off the faucet? Turning off the faucet is education. Mm-hmm. Turning off the faucet is low-cost pay neuter. Mm-hmm. And with those those tools. And then campaigns. Because yeah. campaign is massive information mm-hmm. dissemination. Lobby and prosecution. You lobby for laws because yeah, it's a good a... tool. If you see someone breaking the law, you shouldn't be just rescuing the animal because this guy is beating up the animal. Mm-hmm. You file criminal charges against the person mm-hmm. beating up the animal para it sends out the message na, ah, you can't be cruel to animals and not face that's any that's consequence. That's so that's where you turn off the faucet. Yeah. So kami, we want, na, sige, we're doing the water dipper Mm. Uh, adoption, yeah, sure. But we can't adopt our way out of the animal cruelty problem. Yes. We cannot uh, rescue our way out of the massive problem on the way animals are treated. We have to turn off the faucet by investing in education, low-cost pay neuter, lobbying and campaigns, um, and generally prosecuting p- animal offenders. Mm-hmm. If we don't do a combination of all that, and if you're just doing rescue... I think yun ang problem eh, with animal welfare today. Animal rescue is equated with animal welfare. It shouldn't be the main thing. It shouldn't be the only thing. Yun. Yeah. It shouldn't be the face, siguro. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe that's one thing that uh, you can work on. Parang to to change the face ng pos as uh, an animal rescue. <laughs> It's a, it's a, no, it's, it was inadvertent. When we put up mm. the shelter, we didn't want to... Uh, but well, then, the exposure, kasi nga, like oh. you said, when when people saw that, ah, meron ka pa, ah. nandiyan pala kayo, ha? Yeah. <laughs> so. And then, ayun ang takeaway message. Pag na-feature kami ng media, it's always, oh, the rescued animals, ganun. Kasi mas exciting yung rescue. And mm. then, they watch 
Pero, ano? pero nakikita ka rin sa... Animal Rescue. Mm, when, uh, yun nga, parang as crusader against yung mga to persecute, ay, uh, to, uh, para ma-charge yung mga offenders, di ba? Because we we want to. We actually call media to mm-hmm. inform them na we prosecuted. Kasi otherwise, uh, if we don't call, sometimes these things get swept under the rug. Wala na eh. So, it was also very deliberate. Uh, messaging in our uh, part. So what? Um, there are other organizations like Pose, pero they specialize in in uh, other aspects like like yung sa birth control, di ba? May yeah. iba uh, ano lang birth control, which mm. is good, kasi mm. parang they're more focused on prevention. Uh-huh. Like they're not even going to do the other things, just uh-huh. trying to offer kapon. And it's mm-hmm. good kasi nobody offers oh, okay. kapon. Mm-hmm. Even the local government is just libreng vaccine, uh-huh. bakuna, which is mm-hmm. nothing. Kasi if the animals keep growing in population, wala. You yeah. can vaccinate everyone by next year that Damn. 100 animals would have compounded to a thousand At, na. Yeah, because mm-hmm. depending on how many litters mm-hmm. the dog has had. So, spay neuter is important. So, anyone who does it, hats off to them. Because they're working on prevention. Mm-hmm. One, maybe just one aspect of prevention, but it's a big part of oh, prevention. And it's, ano, eh, it's probably one of the most expensive yeah. costs. Because mm-hmm. it's, uh, one, we would require doctors who train. And two, may mga medications yun. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, there's a big amount of hum- human resources for running an organization. Nakala nila po si some big org. We we only have three people at the office. Oh, okay. And sometimes oh, I answer I the phone if if people have called boss and tinanong ko sino ang nag-answer na phone and I said it's Anna, that was me. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so we're very undermanned. We need mm-hmm. More people stepping up and not just calling, not just posting on Facebook, mm. not just following, but maybe giving support by either adopting, volunteering, fostering. Fostering is ano, a temporary keeping. You're not adopting a dog. Ah, yeah. You're just fostering. So, you can help. Paano yun? Pa- how does it work? Um, sometimes when you rescue, for example, you see an unweaned kitten on the street. Uh-huh. So, they, you bring it to post thinking that POS mm. will get it. But what we will say, even our admins, they will say, oh, we can't take in the kitten right now because there's no one who will bottle feed every three hours. Can you do it? We'll give you some kitten milk, mm-hmm. a bottle, a feeding bottle, mm-hmm. and then can you try your best to feed it every three hours? Because we only have four caretakers. Mm-hmm. Our four caretakers take care of over 300 animals. Mm-hmm. And the fourth caretaker becomes a clinic assistant during the day. Mm-hmm. So, during the day, there are only three caretakers. Mm-hmm. Na may clinic, may clinic kasi kami, so may mm-hmm. clinic assistant. So, there's, with over a hundred animals for each caretaker, there's no way na we can bottle feed pa oh. So, you offer to bottle feed the kitten until it's fully weaned or it can eat solid food. Mm-hmm. So, once it can eat, then you return to the shelter na. You can return and so you're you're helping the shelter um with in terms of manpower mm-hmm. uh, what are what is the most important legislation that you need to to get mm. yes. <laughs> That's it, you talk, cause we have a lot uh we are working for the inclusion of animal welfare in the educational system ah, kasi yeah. nga, no, nga education no, no, is a big part of it we can like prosecute everyone but if we don't work on our children mm-hmm. na teaching them the values of respecting all forms of life mm-hmm. it will be a lost cause so it starts with the kids um, yes. we want to to have it in the curriculum um, right now we're getting in there the humane education we're getting in there through the after hours in school yung mga extracurricular activity so they have some schools have the pet lovers club may ganun oh, oh. so we get there and then we tell them spay neuter ganun pero sana it is part of the curriculum para mas consistent sana pala nag start ako ng pet lovers club <laughs> yeah yeah high school ako <laughs> and also we're trying to ano um we in aside from the rules that we're trying to get the animal actors pr- protected now you cannot kill an animal or harm an animal just for mm-hmm. the sake of making a movie mm-hmm. we, we've done the rules and regulations mm-hmm. for that sa 
it's not a law but an IRR mm-hmm. or an implementing rule that mm-hmm. we created under the Animal Welfare Act. Another important uh, move that we're doing is trying to uh, prohibit animal experimentation at the elementary school level. Ay, oo nga, no? Kasi, yung mga frogs na... They're trying to... We're arguing, and the scientists are with us on this, hmm. na the children are too young at the elementary level. Walang supervision ng PhD. In fact, we're... POS is gunning for... Maski secondary. Hmm. They shouldn't have it. Um, In fact, as an org, we are against animal experimentation. Let me just say this. Hmm. And, we want animal experimentation to be done away completely. Uh-oh. Kasi there are many, many... Mm-mm. Like Harvard Mm-mm. Medical University Uh-oh. doesn't do dissection. And you can't say that Harvard Medical graduates are inferior to Philippine Uh-oh. medical graduates. Diba? So... And also, diba yung mga experiments like... Uh, like yung mga makeup. Yeah. Y- yung mga cancer... Ano pa, maybe I can let it pass eh. Kasi mm-hmm. it's cancer. Pero yung mga makeup, makeup pa. And, yun. So, and then, body shop does not test on animals, but you can't say that it's inferior to mga makeup that tests on animals. Oh. So, kumaga, we're capable of... May alternative naman. Of Di ba? making products that have not been experienced. So, sabi namin, so similarly, we're just trying to stop the cruelty at the elementary and secondary school level. So, mm-hmm. in the IRR on animal experimentation, POS said... Can we strike out high school and elementary students from having mm. any form of experimentation? I never, I never got it before then. Eh. When we, parang back in high school, parang we had frogs. Mm. Na parang bakit mo kailangang demonstrate pa? Now, if you, if you, uh, uh, parang pierce a frog's head para yung brain niya. Oh my gosh. Sa, pa, mamamatay siya. <laughs> Hindi ba obvious oh na yun, di ba? Ganun ang ginawa eh. So, ang nangyayari parang, tapos, ang ginawa niya pa, this, uh, this frog, yung isa naman, hindi, parang may chloroform, so tulog siya. Mm. Tapos, saka mo siya idadisect, so ah. you can, you can see the heart beating. So, ang pointless eh. So, oh. bakit, bakit kailangan gawin to? Di ba? Yeah. So, it just desensitizes the oh, kids and it just teaches them na disregard life na parang okay lang you know kasi after that experiment you throw the frog away no, it's a life that's wasted it's the same experiment it's on books you can have it on video you can mm-hmm. have just one frog for the entire student but they have to like one frog each student Ooh, so parang button. wala ka na you don't really promote respect for mm. life so sabi nga namin sige at least at the elementary and secondary school levels can we not have this? Kasi walang supervision. Yung, and then, uh, admittedly, kids can get hurt mm. while doing the experimentation. And a lot of kids do, really don't care. Parang for some of my classmates were, ano pa eh, parang, ah, parang natatawa lang. Yeah, not sad. really learning, not really mm. performing, hindi um, naman scientific yung approach. Yeah. Diba? It just becomes, uh, wala lang. Yeah. It's just that. Uh, so it teaches the opposite pa. Mm. Na parang life is Naman siyang naiintindihan doon. Oo. So, <laughs> so diba? So yun. So that's why we're lobbying for that. Uh, so we're fighting for that then. But we're being opposed kasi naging K to 12 and I understand in the mm-hmm. high school level, no? Mm-hmm. On the high school level, meron na daw nag specialize on like medicine. So uh, kasi w- when I Medicine get, na? Um there are strands now on K-12. to So, ah, okay. parang high school pa lang yung kid. There are already, like, directions where they can go to. Kasi I, I argued that when I was in high school, I was never asked to dissect a frog. Mm-hmm. And I later on took economics. Mm-hmm. Na, you know, buti na lang, I, I wasn't put through that experience because mm-hmm. it would have been totally useless. And, and my my classmates yeah. were like they ended up lawyers copywriters advertising you don't need that now maybe you can argue pa for medical like if you became a doctor or something but not all of us went into the medical field so i said please strike it out sa high school level but they were saying na since k to 12 na may strands na and mm-hmm. they're beginning to choose their courses na. Oo nga, di ba? So, so now, I don't know how K-12 to mm. works. I, we're trying... But are, but are they really choosing na, well, already? Kasi, when I was in high school, ba, hindi ko pa rin alam eh. Yeah. Although, 
I've always been an artist. I'll probably end up being an artist. Pero parang back then, pa, what if I tried becoming an engineer? Yeah. <laughs> what, what about it? architect na lang ako. So, kaya iba, di ba? So, so, I hope they will support our move to parang just not have the experimentation at the high school and elementary school level. Maybe they can have it. Lalo na sa elementary, di ba? Yeah. Sana That's, they can have it na lang. Uh, we're still not in agreement about experimentation. Even the pero, insects, eh. Parang you, they, they're gonna make you catch insects tapos dadalhin lang doon tapos Yung iba, they would catch butterflies. Yung mga, may, may, may mga nagdala pa nga ng mariposa eh. Na, yeah. And those were endangered na pala. Oh my gosh. Kasi diba, Carlos? Diba, just to, papakita mo lang. Mm. Meron ako, may isang kaklas ko, nagdala ng mga ipis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nakalagay sa bottle. Grabe. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, yun na nga. So, um, we're working on those. So, they're all important. Sometimes it's hard to to tell you which is the most important mm-hmm. piece. We're also trying to fight for marine mammal protection because right now, ah. under our Wildlife Act, only mm-hmm. the... Um, Ma- you kasama ang marine mammals? Um, kasama, pero not enough protection. Parang yung ano lang, abutan ding lang yung merong mm-hmm. super... Yung ano lang, mm-hmm. Oo. But we have a diverse ano, of marine mammals. And the right. Shark Protection Act, we're trying to support the yung Save Philippine Seas and Marine Ma- Wildlife Watch of the Philippines mm-hmm. on that. So we're also into other animals. Maybe people th- see us only for the dogs and cats. But we do uh, work on le- improving legislation for other animals as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ano pa pang mga marine uh, animals ng Pilipinas? Marine mammals specifically. Marine mammals, we are... Uh, the dugongs is one. Um, ano, dolphins and, dolphins. Dolphins and yeah. whales. Whales. Uh-huh. Ano mga, may mga humpback whales na dumadaan sa atin, no? Madami. We have the most number of, uh, we're among the, yung dinadaanan ng uh-huh. mga marine mammals. That's pretty, I'm, I'm not very well versed on new mga species, mm-hmm. ano. But, I understand we get a fair amount of yung mga, kaya nga merong mga dolphins na stranded. Mm-hmm. And then, um, na ano sila, kinukuha pa sila ng mga ocean adventure, this marine parks, and they claim that they're re- rehabilitating them, but they're only using them to perform in their okay. facility. So, that's kind of twisted. So, we need to have actual rehab centers, because if you're a rehab center for wild animals, you are actually rehabilitating mm. them for immediate release into the wild. C- can you explain to our uh, audience kung why why uh, yung marine parks are are not really a good idea <laughs> well uh for starters the these whales and dolphins swim for hundreds and thousands of miles in a yeah. day mm-hmm. that's their natural ano uh behavior no. and so then you they can literally cross oceans yun yeah. ang natural habitat nila eh. and then you you can find them in a place that's not even one fourth of one percent of mm-hmm. what they're used to it's like as a person, you lagay kita sa drum. Mm-mm. And that's your that's your life. And then they argue, oh, we take good care of them. Oh, what if I feed you caviar? Pero you're just gonna stay in that drum Mm-mm. forever. So, don't you get it? They're not happy. They're, and in fact, whales and dolphins in captivity have shorter lifespans Mm-mm. than those that are out in the wild. They hardly ever make it out of 15 years pag they're in captivity but in the wild they can live up to 70 years mm-hmm. um, case 15? In, 15? less than 15 wow. case in point ocean adventure none of their whales fall, uh, false killer whales mm-hmm. ever made it past the 2000 20 years they didn't make it past that they all mm-hmm. died and then they said they didn't have a satisfactory explanation as to how the animals died there was no marine mammal expert they just made a report and so now they don't have any marine mammal there except for the dolphins that they claim to have saved from stranding oh my god pero they're now using that dolphin to perform tricks Mm -hmm. it's like saving a child from prostitute child from the street Mm -hmm. you're say you're saying you saved the street kid but you're now using the same kid for prostitution so that doesn't make what you're doing right you're just making money off the mm. kid so if they're really rehab 
or rescue. Mm-hmm. If they're for protection, they wouldn't be making them perform. Yeah. Um, I I felt sad because there was a a seminar for veterinarians that was announced recently. Mm-hmm. Tapos the part of the seminar, which was going to be done in Ocean Adventure, was to see a dolphin show. Mm-hmm. Na parang what what's that? Why are you teaching conservation kuno oh, and yet but, but, having a side show of making them? You know that dolphins never jump through hoops in the wild. They will not eat dead fish in the wild. Mm-hmm. You can never make them eat dead fish. Now ask yourselves, why is the dolphin jumping through hoop a hoop? Mm-hmm. Why is it eating a dead fish? Because the dolphin has been starved. That mm-hmm. is the only reason why the dolphin would do that trick. They will not eat that in the wild, yung yung dead mm-hmm. fish. Because they were starved. It's a conditioning process. You can never make a wild animal perform unless you make it bend to your will. Yeah. By like the elephants in the yeah. Nova. You can't make. Ka, hindi ka tulad ng dogs. Dogs, you can make them do tricks by positive reinforcement. Yeah. You just withhold a treat, and they're domesticated. After all, mm-hmm. they live with us. But if these animals don't live with their own kind, if you take them from their natural habitat. That's cruelty in itself. Because the animal is unhappy. Social animals, elephants are social animals. Yeah. Dolphins are social animals. Mm. So by just taking them from their families, that's already cruelty. And also, it's uh, as in the case of the uh, elephants, it's literal torture. Eh. Ever since since uh, childhood, since birth, siguro pa nga. Mm. Parang they're chained and then beaten so that they would follow kung sino man yung master na nandun. and just and to also allow people to mount them hmm. para mag, para makapag uh, alam mo yan magtawag dun? elephant riding yeah. experience kayo so hmm. so um uh, sa likod nung experience niyon is a lot of torture for the animal for the elephants and you can you can google this you, there's a lot of videos on facebook uh, or on youtube hmm. also to na, na papakita yon, mm. de ba some people pa yung elephant na nagpaint, de ba may mga oh. ganon pa sa eh. tapos nagpo football. Yeah. Yun. For us, I think for Pinoy's the concept of cruelty has to be very visual. Parang yeah. has to be beating. Pagbuk si Rabel si Mali is in Manila Zoo. He's well taken care of na man eh. mm-hmm. We're feeding him fruits, so he's fine. Nobody's beating him. Nobody's riding him. So they're mm-hmm. like arguing it's not cruelty, mm-hmm. but captivity in mm-hmm. itself is cruelty. Because if you take uh, wild animals from the wild, it actually robs them of a basic need that is emotional. Because mm-hmm. yung five freedoms ng animals, lagi natin freedom from uh, hunger and thirst, mm-hmm. freedom from fear, uh, freedom from pain, injury, and disease. So we think that it's just taking care of them, mm-hmm. but freedom from um, yung to to behave in a natural mm-hmm. way. That's one of the five freedoms. So if you take in a wild animal and it's not enjoying its normal behavior in its natural habitat, mm-hmm. that is cruelty. And mm-hmm. yun yung nakalimutan. Kasi parang we think that if we treat animals as pets, mm-hmm. like wild animals, then Okay na sila. Mataba naman. Always ang gauge ng Pinoy is like, mataba, mataba. naman ni. Eh. <laughs> Iba pag bata, tapos mataba. But there must be, oh, you know, healthy yung bata. But oh, yeah. there are many other considerations. So it's mababaw na standard ng welfare. Mm-hmm. We have to learn how these animals are, how they live, and to be able to be able to um, have an assessment na are they supposed to be behaving in that manner are they yun ba yung normal behavior nila oh, one argument na i heard about mali lang is parang if you if, uh, okay so alam nila na ganun nga they they want the, uh, yung captivity is bad basically um pero if you gonna take him a uh, her ba her. her to to the sanctuary the yung mga elephants don't would ostracize her hindi siya sasama sa park and it would be awful din sa kanya. Ah, end. no, no. That's not true. Kasi, 
Pita was able to show that there are even other animals from other elephants from other zoos that were successfully integrated ah. into this sanctuary. I see. And wouldn't you rather risk na her getting a, a crack at a better life than parang well, languishing languishing in jail forever? Oh, at so, least give her a chance. No? But saka in Manila Zoo, she's never had anything like any treatment at all. She's never had any blood test up until this controversy came up. Really? Saka lang nila binigyan ng blood test. Oh, wow. They were she was only given topical treatments. But in that sanctuary, she will be given all the care talaga na kailangan mm-hmm. and then in a natural. And it's not habitat. like naman siguro na if let's say inaway siya nung existing pack doon. No, they they're gonna let it. <laughs> no. Papatayin na lang siya. Okay. Pinatay no, siya, no. di ba? Wala so naman siguro ganun. I- Pwedeng yeah. is, is separate ke, uh, enclosure muna siya. Then, uh, These are pachyderm experts that they have already uh, wrote to the Philippine government. Mm-hmm. Jane Goodall herself wow, Jane Goodall. wrote to the Philippine government appealing na this would be better for Mali. And these are mm-hmm. luminaries in the animal mm-hmm. rights field. Ah. So, parang, Jane, Good, Jane Goodall is the, the chimpanzee woman? Yes, yes. That, that so, woman, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Yun, parang if you don't listen to the experts and then you you feel na eto na you know better for this animal then I think there's something wrong with that because we should be willing to learn from the experts in the field because they're the ones who have experience with elephants and ganon. this is torture this this thing that's happening with Mali it's torture and people are just fooled by the parang concept na oh he's well fed mm-hmm. and you know it's in no, there's that's not enough enrichment for an well, elephant. Well, also, I think the caretakers are also attached to her, naren. But they would have to let go to go. But that's a selfish reason yeah. for it, because if all these movies that you watch where mm-hmm. they have wild animals, Free Willy, <coughs> who's that? Uh, Big Joe, that that gorilla, gorilla, gorilla na para. All the endings have like they 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 had to let go no. so that the animal will be with its own kind it's not a selfish kind of love would be just holding on to the animal because you've treated it like a pet it's not a domesticated animal like a dog or a cat yeah. so by taking wild animals from the wild you're already being cruel mm-hmm. and dami na from from the dogs to the oh, wildlife at least a dami na cover na next day mo lahat. Dami na naiintindi na yun. So, yun. Ilang, ilang hours na tayo kayo? 2 hours 30. Oh my Whoa! goodness! Oh, I think we should wrap this <laughs> oh, up. Oh nga! <laughs> so, it, went, it flew by, di ba? Yeah. Wow, this is great. Pero, uh, I'm sure, a lot of, a dami na nanonood. Actually, 11 is actually, and it held on Oh, wow. people. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, no, Thank you. Uh, Those are probably post volunteers. Thank you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I uh, know. Uh, like I said, after this, just please uh, um, share. Share. I'm gonna be cutting clips, mm-hmm. na shorter, that that you can share and uh, use it every way, any way you want okay. to. Uh, ano, yeah. In your advocacies, I'd be uh, I'd be honored to to contribute. This is my little Thank contribution you. to your to pause mm-hmm. and to 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 our friends, the animal friends. <laughs> Do a podcast in the shelter and with our shelter Space. animals. Oh <laughs> nga, no, sige, ah, sige. Sige. On the spot ka tuloy. <laughs> and on that note, Uh-oh. thank you so thank much you, again. Thank you. Anna, thank you, thank thank you. you so much. Uh, we'll have you again. Um, hopefully, madali kang mahatak next. Yes, yes, always. <laughs> yeah. oh, basta, just let us know kung merong, if you need to, ano yun? Basta may vegan cakes. Ayo, yeah. <laughs> uh, mi yucha. Mi yucha. <laughs> Tignan natin ulit. <laughs> Ang aking dakilang sponsor, mi yucha. Lux Cakes. Woo! Alright. Okay. And on that note, thank you. Good evening. Um, have a great evening to everyone. I'm with Miss uh, Anna Cabrera and we're signing out. Bye. <laughs> yeah.